Wisconsin Sports Writer of the Year, Jason Wilde. Is there anything anybody loves more than agreeing with Tausch? Packers Hall of Famer, Mark Tauscher. I got a hunch this isn't going to be concise either. Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studio. I would say that you are pretty easygoing. You're actually probably more easygoing than I am. This is Wilde and Tausch, presented by Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Well, there's no, you're not easygoing at all. Hey! On 100.5 ESPN, the ESPN app, and Wisconsin On Demand. like green and gold. It is the Wednesday edition. The Packers are indeed, I told you you could tell from Mark Murphy yesterday, they are headed to Brazil. To open the 2024 season on Friday, September 6th. And for those of you listening outside of Milwaukee, that television market, Green Bay, that television market, and Philadelphia, it's Peacock or it's nothing. No. Yeah. 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 Surprise. I know this comes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I saw that and thought, oh, boy, it's going to be a long day. Addition. Also, the Bucks' season from hell continues. They finally win. They beat the Celtics. And Giannis suffers a left calf strain, which is better than a torn Achilles. But we'll see how long he's going to be out. Addition. Of Wilde and Tausch. On 94.5 ESPN Milwaukee. 100.5. ESPN Madison, 1430 ESPN Beaver Dam. ESPNWisconsin.com, the ESPN app, your Alexa smart speaker, streaming live video, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and of course everything you need on WisconsinOnDemand.com and the Wisconsin On Demand app. I'm Chase Wilde in Green Bay. Jesse Nelson is in the Everlight Solar ESPN Madison studios. And Mr. Peacock himself. The Packers Hall of Famer, who does not live in the Green Bay Fox City's television market, nor in the Milwaukee television market. So I don't know how he'll be taking in this game on Friday, September 6th. He is our Packers Hall of Famer. He is Mark Tauscher. Tausch, good morning. Uh, Yeah, I did not know the Peacock part of this. I maybe would not have been such an advocate for this game being played with the Packers if I knew Peacock was going to be the sole provider. I, I get it. And my my overall stance, you called it yesterday, Mark Murphy, not the greatest poker player. <laughs> kind of let you know that this was going to happen. NFL comes out and does that. When does this full schedule come out? Is that May the draft or after the draft? It's it, post draft. It's always after the draft. Okay. Yeah. Sources okay. tell me first two weeks in May. Okay, so this little sprinkler, and then I'm sure they'll they'll put out a couple more before. But this, I think, again, I understand Mark and Lafleur and everybody wanting to kind of keep things tight and not do it. But if you look at this big picture, this is awesome for a lot of reasons and the fact that it's early in the season the fact that it's a friday the fact that the time zone deal isn't that big a deal it sucks that it's on peacock but everything else from a fan standpoint it's a standalone um you get a couple extra days rest yeah it's a long flight so what deal with it get back and you can set a great pay a great tone for your season bonding everything else and you take a road game off of your schedule yeah, and get it while it's a longer flight 
it's I think it's just a huge win, and you get to continue to grow your fan base globally. Um, it's awesome. I'm excited that the Packers are participating in it. Uh, I don't. I'm not trying to poke the bear or the peacock. But what is your plan? What is your first reaction to this? Because, and again, having covered the Packers for the Wisconsin State Journal during the era of the NFL Network not being available on cable systems uh, for a long period, there were times where the Green Bay Packers played, and if you lived in Madison, Wisconsin, you could not watch the game. The NFL Network broadcast would be picked up in the local markets. The Packers are, I don't know if they're the only one, but they are a very small minority of the 32 NFL teams that technically has two home markets. So if you live in the Milwaukee TV market or the Green Bay Fox Cities, you don't have to get Peacock to watch the game, just like you didn't have to have NFL Network to watch those games. But if you live in Madison, which is a separate TV market, that's it. That's what, that, That's your option. So... Again, I'm not trying to irritate you, uh, maybe a tiny bit. What is your plan for watching the game? So I've been pretty staunch on this. I have, or our household has Amazon. We have Apple. We have ESPN slash Disney Plus. I believe we have Hulu. Netflix. Um, I feel like. Uh, yeah, definitely Netflix. We have everything, and I have kind of put my foot down after we got Peacock, the free version, because I wanted to watch Saved by the Bell, the reboot. And they made you pay on top of that, not some premium show. They made you pay, and that's when I said I'm done with Peacock. The Saved by the Bell part is what completely soured me on Peacock. So what I will do. I will find friends that have Peacock, and we'll go watch the game over there. I will not pay for Peacock. <laughs> Come on over, Tausch. We got it. it. Maybe, Maybe we'll go over to Jesse's basement. House. We're good. <laughs> Come on Maybe over. Jesse's that will house. be a team bonding experience that will go Sit over with to the Nelsons and watch. It'll be awesome. A little Friday night, a little Coors Light. Oh, yeah. Mo on your lap. That nice pink minky blanket. Very comfy. Oh, yeah. What a time. All right, so we want to get your reactions to this. Are you excited? Are you concerned? The Packers do not have an extensive international track record. Uh, let's see. There was the Tokyo game in the preseason in, like, 96. There was the Toronto game in the preseason in 97. And then there was the catastrophe at Tottenham Hotspur, which Tausch attended in London in 2022 when the head coach did not have the greatest attitude going into the game. Were lessons now, is there learned? any interest in you going to this game? I do not, no. Why not? It's a, I mean, it's a huge game. You have, it's not like your kids are going to have a ton of sports at that point. Uh, I, I have some. And I uh, believe last time we did this, you said you were going to come on the next big trip. I believe, uh, and you talk to the powers that be, and I don't, I, things yeah. will be taken care of. I, I think this is a trip you need to make. Uh, we, we can we can discuss that uh, along with breaking two hundred. Jesse, you Lock think Lebel. Jason should make the trip down to Brazil? Uh, Got to invite the family. Jesse is, well, Jesse this knows is a, that better this is than a job. anyone. This is a job. It's not like a family. We vacation. want to get your reactions to this. 844-770-3776. 844-770. I do not. No. Do you? Mm, Got a few months I to learn. I did. I, I How many years of it did you take? I, three semesters. I can conjugate verbs still. Been the training his whole life for this. Eu sou ele é, nós somos ele sou. That's uh, to be. All, uh... All conjugated in the proper form. Other than that, I don't uh, have a lot of recall as far as how how did, many weeks of a crash course would you need for it to come back to you? Because like lot. I took four I think and a half be years better of suited Italian actually. Uh, so I took four and a half years of Spanish, and I forgot almost all of it. But then I went to Mexico for a week, and it all came like back to me, and I could like speak it by the end of our seven days there. I bet you could do it. Where, are are you going? Who me? 
Well, you and Tausch. Uh, no, like I'll, no I'll, if, we're, we're watching all it for in my one, basement. one for all. Yeah, we're we'll watching. Be we're having a uh, in all party. honesty, if the Badgers didn't oh. have a game, I would. This is a trip I'd love to make. Uh, Wisconsin plays on that Saturday, so I will be unable to go. But that would be this. This is one of those trips that I think if you can go, you should go, because I don't know when they'll be back. You learn a lot. There's going to be a ton of uh, ton of cultural things you could do. This is a perfect trip to go on. It's in August. It's in or, or, it's in early September. Things aren't super busy yet. That's why I think it's uh, Packer fans if they get the opportunity, which I saw this morning. Packer season ticket holders will not get that option. They need to open up some tickets for Packer fans. Packer fans need to have that option of being able to go. I don't know how many Brazilians are going to just snap up uh, all these tickets. Lots. Packer fans will go in droves if they get the opportunity. 844-770-3776. So I had Ryan tweet me here. At least it will be on NBC here in Wisconsin. No. It won't. No, I just want to make sure no. people understand this because this is important, and we are a uh, global program. We're very big in Brazil, uh, also in London and Germany. We're very big internationally. But if you live in Wisconsin, there are only two designated home television markets. Wausau isn't one. The La Crosse Cooley region isn't one. And How about Madison. the Driftless Glen region? What about Driftless Glen? No. It's Milwaukee and Green Bay Fox Cities that will have the game over the air television. Other than How that, far up in Milwaukee does it go? Does it get up to Lake Country or is it just the greater city area? So I think it goes west past, you know, Pewaukee is in the Milwaukee TV market. I would have to ask folks that know. You know, like uh, Lake Mills, are you able to get Milwaukee TV stations still? Uh, Exonia, I don't know that well enough. Beaver Dam, they get both. I always well, thought that was weird. That's when I great lived for there. them. Yeah, you, we got the like the Milwaukee news and the Madison news, and when I lived in Beaver Dam, uh, I, well does, does Sheboygan? Uh, maybe Sheboygan has that too, that they get both Green Bay, Fox Cities, and Milwaukee stations. But again. Those are the two. Manitowoc desig- probably does. Manitowoc. I think I think Manitowoc is gonna is Green Bay Fox Cities only. I'll ask okay. Paul. I'll have Paula's mom chime in on that. She gets over the air television there. Bottom line, this is a great thing for most Packers fans. Certainly international Packers fans. Certainly Brazilian Packers fans. I do think that the Peacock element is a wrinkle. That will now have Tausch going over to Strummy's no, it house. Sucks, but or... it is listen, it is what it is. I, I don't think you can get uh, you can get up in arms about it. Make some adjustments and find ways to get it done. Uh, I'm not going to pout and cry about it. It is what it is. This is the new world. You can either cry and pout, or you can find some solutions. So, with this being the case, I think the big thing now is I hope when Matt Lafleur does his uh, next presser, and you hear from the players. It's all excitement, and I think you will see that this is a great opportunity. You know, playing in the NFL is great. You get a chance to go and see all kinds of different places and experience different things, and now you get a chance to do something nobody else has done and trying to grow the game somewhere else, and you get a road game off your calendar to play on a neutral site. Yeah. Now the temperatures and everything else. There's going to be all you're going to hear all yeah, about. Yeah, but both hydration. teams have to do that, right? That's the difference here. Uh, yeah, you're not. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm arguing this point. Like this is where I'm at. I think it's great. Well, okay. I think this whole thing is fantastic outside of Peacock. I think it's great for everybody involved, and I'm glad that the fact that they moved to 17 games, it's given the chance that uh, teams that are playing Green Bay don't have that excuse of saying. Well, we can't give up a home game because that's one of the teams that we sell out against. Well, now Green Bay, while it was the last team to get to go play a London game, I think you're going to see Green Bay play more and more. And now this will also help Mark Murphy when he's fight. Well, whoever takes over for Mark, when they're fighting to give up a home game, which I'm much more adamant fighting, when they want this team to go play in Germany, which inevitably they will, it should be that... It's the same deal. Listen, we took one for y'all. We didn't want to do this. Right. Maybe Mark was playing chess, and he's saying, all right, we'll do this. We'll fight it, but don't you dare take away a home game for the next decade. 
we'll go play on the road. Just make sure it's a road game that you're moving, not because it's so vital to the Lambo economy. And if that's the case, this is even a bigger win than maybe we even thought about. Uh, yeah, I was agreeing with you. I'm just saying if the Packers say, well, it's going to be hot and it's well, a long. Well, they're going to say that. Well, pickle juice. Uh, right. And yeah. so, so the those are things that the Eagles have to deal with, too. And I understand that the Eagles uh, are farther east than the Packers are. But yeah, they have, runways, though. They've got a long flight, bigger too. Runways. I'm I'm sorry if you have to drive to Milwaukee on a bus and then take the airplane. Uh, but I, I don't think that's a big hardship. Early, how early will they leave to go down there? I that's a great three question. Days early. I would think three days, minimum. Uh, yes, I, that, that I think is one of the primary questions that will need to be asked. I'll be curious to see now that it is official, since it was not official yesterday, if Mark Murphy addresses some of those things, I assume they have known now for at least a week or so that they were the team and that they have already started discussing logistics. Uh, clearly, they need to learn their lesson from the London trip, both in terms of attitude, but also in terms of logistic approach. Do you go a few days early? How, how early do you go? What, what do you do to tail off the end of your training camp you get the final cuts, then what are you going to do with your team leading into this road trip? All those things will factor in. We'll see what comes of that. Uh, I will say this. If if I recall correctly, did you not have uh, one of our favorite partners also make the trip with you to London two years ago? Didn't um, Pella Windows and Doors well, of Wisconsin also make the trip? I thought they did. I'm not 100% sure if I remember if Gina. She should have if she didn't, and you should turn your ordinary space into something extraordinary with brand new Pella windows and doors. The luxurious look. And just like Gina is sleek now, the luxurious look, sleek design, and custom colors available are guaranteed to give your home that extra pop to entertain and to keep you comfortable. It's the best of both worlds. Plus, getting the perfect windows and doors for your home has never been easier. Right now, 0% interest for up to 36 months or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months if you book by April 30th. Take ownership of your living space and make it a place worth living with Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. 844-770-3776. 844-770-3776. We'll get some of your thoughts on the talk and text line next. It's Wilde and Tausch. This is Wilde and Tausch, presented by Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Call Gina Della from Pella today, 855-PELLA-WI, and online at PellaWI.com slash radio. Beautify your entertainment space with Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Hi, this is Gina Della from Pella. Turn your ordinary space into something extraordinary with brand new Pella Windows. Plus, getting the perfect windows and doors for your home has never been easier. Right now, get 0% interest for up to 36 months, or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months if you book before April 30th. Take ownership of your living space and make it a place worth living with Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Hey, Drew Scott here, and I'm Jonathan Scott, reminding you that life's better with a home policy from American Family Insurance. They can help you get just the right protection at just the right price and help you save when you bundle home and auto. Kind of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It'll be just right for you. We love a custom build. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Mark Tauscher here, and when I was on the hunt for a hot tub, I found Patio Pleasures, a locally owned family business. Patio Pleasures has a passion for making your home a place for recovery and relaxation. And that's why I'm excited about my new cold plunge from Patio Pleasures. They only showcase premium recovery and relaxation products, and that's how I know it's going to be great. Gear up for spring and check out Patio Pleasures' two incredible showrooms, Madison West and Sun Prairie. Your Honda gets you everywhere. When it needs service, you need Zimbrick Honda service. Their customer service is second to none, and you can experience it yourself at two convenient Madison locations on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Honda certified technicians handle it all. You can even get flexible payment options. Fix your car now and pay later. Apply online to see your options in seconds with no hard credit check. Make your service appointment online at ZimbrickHonda.com. Zimbrick Honda Service Center on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Part of the Madison community since 1973. Shop Zimbrick Honda. 
When you've been seriously injured, you'll need a team with knowledge and experience to get the results you deserve. Call Gruber Law Offices today. Proud partner of your Milwaukee Bucks. One call, that's all. Stoughton Health, in collaboration with patient and family advisors, seeks to advance the healthcare experience at Stoughton Health by providing a forum for past patients and families to provide feedback on a variety of healthcare and other related topics. Advisors offer constructive feedback on their personal journey at Stoughton Health, helping to elevate the patient experience and increase satisfaction. Interested? Please call Amy at 608-873-2308. You're probably being overwhelmed with information about semi-glutide, the game-changing FDA-approved weight loss treatment. Jim Rutledge here. I was like you. I didn't know what it was until I saw Dr. Nessa Rodriguez at Carbon World Health. He can walk you through the benefits. He can tell you if it's right for you, and then you could come up with a plan to change your life with a workout plan and semi-glutide. With that plan, I dropped 20% body fat to 10% body fat, and I dropped over 20 pounds of fat and kept my muscle. You can do the same thing. Go see Dr. Nessa Rodriguez at Carbon World Health. Are you ready to start a meaningful career in healthcare? Are you looking for a job that fits your work-life balance? Become a certified direct care professional today and make life better for older adults or people with a disability. WIS Caregiver Careers makes it easy with free online training plus earn a $500 bonus. See your name on Wisconsin's Certified Direct Care Registry. Sign up today at wiscaregiverscdcp.com. Sponsored by the Wisconsin Department of Health Services. Join the Madison Money Guy, Christian Finfrock, for Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Get the information you need as you plan for retirement. That's Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Investment advisory services offer the Retirement Income Strategies and SEC Registered Investment Advisor. Like, share, and follow ESPN Madison everywhere. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for more great content from ESPN Madison. This is 100.5 ESPN and Wisconsin On Demand. Jesse, have you been compiling Brazil's greatest hits in anticipation of this announcement? I've been less prepared for things, I'll say that. Oh, we know. The Packers are headed to Brazil. We are headed toward a conversation with Eric Name of The Athletic coming up next. I saw him. I didn't get to talk to him last night at the Bucks game, so we look forward to him joining our program in a few minutes to discuss the Giannis injury, which was, uh, I saw it happen with my very own eyes. He inbounded the ball, took about three steps up the court, and then went down uh, and clutched his left calf. I'm sorry? <laughs> did you stay for the whole game last We night? did, and then we waited afterward wow. to see Sid's buddy was, Drew Holiday. It, it, it which was only was, a two-hour game. You should have stayed for the whole yeah, game. Like, like almost no free throws whatsoever and almost no fouls called, uh, kind of like the end of the Iowa-UConn game should have been. Uh, so, yes, we stayed for the whole game. Sid got to see Drew Holiday, which was extremely exciting for her. She loves him. Uh, and the Bucks won a game. But the way the year has gone, even when something good happens, now we don't know what Giannis's prognosis is. We'll get to that coming up with Eric Name, who will join us coming up next. But, Tausch, I saw one of the texts that Jesse has gotten, and, Jesse, you can put it back up if you'd be so kind. How does this impact the Packers going to Germany? I will be truthful because you did call me out on this, and rightfully so. When I said that I would go to the next international game, I thought it was going to be in Germany. And my four years of high school German and one year of uh, college German, I wanted to see if I would have the same effect as Jesse had when he went to Mexico and it would all come back to me, other than my brief conversations with the girls Olma from time to time. So, Tausch, the concern that maybe not I have, but maybe some others do, including Ian and East Troy, uh, is they're not going to keep sending you everywhere. And if you didn't like London and you're not real thrilled to be going to Brazil, 
Um, I don't know how excited the football people would be about then going to Germany in a year or two. But the bottom line is they are incredibly popular globally, including in Germany. Do you think that this pushes Germany off the table, at least for the relative near future? Well, I mean, I think for the next three or four years, yes. But my hunch is that you're going to see bigger expansion. And I can only remember when the World League was at its peak. Zenith. Everybody wanted a game in Paris and everywhere else. And the only country that really embraced NFL football at that point was Germany. There were three or four teams. I can remember the Rhine Fire. Mm. The Berlin, I don't remember their name. But there were. that was kind of the spot where you saw the NFL kind of get a little bit of traction. You're going to see Germany, I believe, expand in somewhat of a big way. And obviously, you know, there is a big German contingent in the state of Wisconsin. There is, I think, we love drinking beer. You don't think people would love to go over for an Oktoberfest? Mm -hmm. Go watch a game and drink steins of beer in Mm -hmm. uh, beer halls? Mm -hmm. Uh, That sounds great. You let me go play sheep's head with steins of beer and go watch a Packer game? Pretty good weekend. I'm in. I think most Packer fans are in. Uh, So I, I really believe Mark Murphy was playing chess. And I think he wants to go to Germany. I think the Packers as a group would love to go. But I think the Packers have no interest in giving up another home game for a long time. So if it's another road game, that they get to go and go play in Germany instead of having to go to the Giants or Seattle or something like that, I think they're fine with it. But they do not want to give up when there's nine home games. They don't want to give up another game. And I think Mark used this and fought against it to use his little chess piece to say, Mm -hmm. all right, when you ask us to go to Germany, make sure it's a road game. And if you do that, we will go to Brazil and we'll do it begrudgingly but then we'll smile through it that's what i think happened and so is it gonna in the short term yeah probably but i would venture to say in the next eight years the green bay packers will play a game in germany um i think you're a thousand percent right on that and i think that that would have been really smart for mark murphy to do is to say look we don't want to go so in exchange we have some requests of our own. And I think if he, both in the short term, right, like he should make, I hope he did, I'm sure he did, in fact, that he should have made requests for this year's schedule and for longer-term concessions. That would be savvy maneuvering, well, and I'm guessing yeah, Especially he did. you have the Notre Dame game coming up there. You have, uh, don't know, rumors that Northwestern, the uh, Wisconsin-Northwestern game might be up. So there's... Listen, everything is about – the NFL is going to do what they want, but they Mm -hmm. want to have volunteers, not hostages, just like Mike Tomlin always said. So utilize the leverage that you have and get what you want. And the biggest thing when it comes to scheduling that the Green Bay Packers want is to not give up home games. They were forced to give one up uh, to go to London. It set the season in a a, uh, spin. Yeah. And now I think – Mark Murphy is looking at it and saying, all right, we'll give, but we're going to take. And what we're taking is no more home games for us to go play internationally. And if that's the case, this is even a bigger win than what I thought it was initially. Apparently they like green and gold. Uh, (laughs) we got to get to Sao Paulo. Uh, So, by the way, I I, I just want people to appreciate – just how savvy you are about, like, remembering stuff. The final alignment of NFL Europe, the Berlin Thunder, the Cologne Centurions, the Frankfurt Galaxy, the Hamburg Sea Devils, and the Rhine Fire, five of the eight teams or five of the nine teams were in Germany. It was like a German yeah. league by the time it was done. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, the Scottish Claymores, the London Monarchs, and the Barcelona Dragons, along with the Amsterdam Am- and Admirals. Uh, all right, we will get back to this. I've seen a number of 
tweets and texts that have come in, I, I do think that this is really interesting. We saw this coming, but how are they going to handle this? Are they going to handle it better? We'll get to that coming up. Uh, but we were at the Bucks game last night. We saw Giannis go down. So did Eric Name. He was in post-game interviews while we were waiting for Drew Holiday. He knows what's going on. He'll have an update for us. This is part of a bigger picture, though. They shook up their lineup and their rotation a little bit last night, trying to get things going for the playoffs, and now you see Giannis go down with a non-contact injury, and it's been diagnosed as a left calf strain. What does that mean for the Bucks moving forward? Eric Name of The Athletic will join us to discuss that. We were moving forward on our way home last night. Oostberg, quick trip. Yeah. Sid's got to go to the bathroom, got to get some snacks, get a smoothie. Couldn't have been more perfect right off the highway for us on our way home. Could have grabbed a for real, and it's baseball season, so it's time for me and you to take a quick trip to the ballpark. For every $200 you spend at Quick Trip with Quick Rewards, you'll earn a free ticket? What? What? 200 bucks at Quick Trip and you get a free ticket to a Brewers game of your choice? Whoa. Wow. That's right. Big savings. And then, Jesse, when you do that, you can go get all those. You can go shove your face with all those samples. So you can eat, get the gas, get all your stuff at Quick Trip, and get Brewers tickets? Sign me up. Visit the Quick Trip. Rewards app and click on the Fan Zone button on the app's home screen to opt in, and you can start redeeming for your tickets. You can redeem up to six Brewers tickets at a time. Who doesn't want to go to a Brewers game for free when you're using your Quick Rewards? Get these Brewers points from Quick Reward in addition to Quick Rewards visit. You can double the points, double the happiness. Blackout dates and upgrade fees may apply. You can see quicktrip.com slash ballpark to get started today. Eric Name joins us next. Will Dean's house. The Milwaukee Bucks. The Orlando Magic. Three pointer from Lillard, and he cashes in. Damian Lillard. Tonight on Madison's home of the Bucks, 100.5 ESPN. Mark Tauscher here for Zimbrick Chevrolet in Sun Prairie, the name you can trust. While the new baseball season is in full swing, basketball's postseason is about to get underway, and Green Bay is ready to stock up in the draft. It's such an exciting time to think about all the exciting things happening in Wisconsin sports. And with all this excitement, maybe it's also time for you to start thinking about an exciting new vehicle. Well, if that's the case, start your search with Zimbrick Chevrolet in Sun Prairie. Stop by the dealership on Main Street in Sun Prairie to check out their full inventory of new and used vehicles. Or make it even easier by starting your search online at ZimbrickChevrolet.com. And if you're not in the market for a new vehicle but want to make sure yours feels as new as the day you drove it off the lot, get a tune-up with Zimbrick Chevy's amazing service team. Stop into Zimbrick Chevrolet on Main Street in Sun Prairie and discover this great automotive team that I've been telling you about for years. Consistently recognized as a best of Madison operation, Zimbrick Chevrolet on Main Street in Sun Prairie is truly the name you can trust. The host might be irrelevant, but the conversations aren't. So to only have two wins in the NCAA tournament since they made the Sweet 16 in 2017, it's just unacceptable for a program that should be nationally recognized. Mr. Irrelevant with Alex Strofe. I was a betting man. I would guess Greg Gard is the head coach next season. It's, it's got to be a big tournament run or bust next year. Mr. Irrelevant with Alex Strofe. Live on ESPN Madison's YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And available wherever you get your podcasts. To those who've ever dreamt of their perfect event, those dreams are worthy and they are possible. Hi, it's Jeffrey from Celebrations Entertainment. With hard work, passion, and great music, we will make your event dreams a reality. Every event is a labor of love with one-on-one -on -one planning, customization, and flawless execution. Bringing your event to life is what we do. For a fun, memorable event, visit celebrationsentertainment.com. That's celebrationsentertainment.com. Hey everyone, Molly Brown here from ESPN Madison. For the best Southwestern food and margaritas in the Madison area, it's always Pasquale's Cantina for me. Whether I'm enjoying my favorite taco salad, their awesome chips and guac, or one of their famous burritos, Pasquale's is the best for authentic Southwestern fare. Plus, they have one of the largest tequila selections around. Visit one of their locations in Verona or Middleton today, or check out their menu and order online at Pasquale'sCantina.com. Bringing the flavors of the Southwest to the Midwest. Pasquale's Cantina. 
Join Prairie Athletic Club and spring forward your membership today. Hi, this is Sarah Tauscher encouraging you to save now until the end of August when you join the pack. The Platinum membership is everything you want and more, including Pilates, hot yoga, bar, unlimited training zone, and boot camp classes. Discover the ultimate wellness experience tailored just for you. Not a member? Not a problem. Guests are welcome daily. Head to prairieathletic.com or stop in today for all their membership specials. Prairie Athletic Club, family fun community. The pulse of the Milwaukee Bucks, straight from a Bucks legend. Can't get it off. Marcus Johnson will, though. You can't leave him alone for a 12. Tap into Here District with Marcus Johnson on Bucks Plus. Marcus and his son Chris offer a weekly beat on Bucks basketball. Get your questions answered and hear from the biggest names in basketball. Find Here District with Marcus Johnson at bucks.com slash plus on the Bucks app or wherever you get your podcasts. From the preps. Russell spins oh. his way into the paint with contact, finishes it a foul. That was pretty. To the pros. Beverly launches from three, and he knocks it down. The biggest games play on 100.5 ESPN. Does Eric name not join us frequently enough that he has his own walk-up music? Because this can't be, like, this is not no, my, it his was choice, just right? Na- well, I was going to play the Bucks music, but then that's Justin Garcia's music. So I didn't want to play his Green music and growing. for Eric. So. Yeah, what about what yeah. about if we get the other one, the, the one from the era when I was covering the team and Eric was a youngster? Who's going to win uh, it? Who's going to win it? Yeah. The Buck. Tim Thomas! By the way, I saw Sam Cassell yesterday because he's an assistant with the Celtics and one of Tausch's former teammates, Antonio Freeman, who was in the hallway with us while we were waiting for Drew Holiday. Uh, This guy did not see in the hallway last night because he was working his tail off. All kinds of news as the Bucs approach the playoffs and do it without Giannis. He'll explain. From The Athletic, it is our good friend, Eric name Eric good morning how are you today uh, I'm I'm lovely it's a lovely morning here in Milwaukee <laughs> that was as unconvincing as you've ever been uh, <laughs> take us through last night take us through you sitting in the press area at the far end of the court opposite of where Giannis goes down sit in my seats were right nearby not courtside thankfully uh, and I I I saw him go down. I I thought, oh my God, he just ruptured his Achilles. What were you thinking as this played out? Yeah, I mean, I think that's exactly where your head goes, right? That it's always what could be the worst possible thing with a non-contact injury, and that's exactly what you see, right? So, you know, three forty left in the third quarter. Giannis running up the floor. He had just inbounded the ball to Damian Lillard, Lillard in front of him, and no one around Giannis and he collapses at the at the left elbow uh, of the Celtics basket and Lillard keeps dribbling the ball up the floor but the Bucks call a timeout and then everyone goes to check on Giannis and you know as he's sitting there not really moving um, you know I think that's the the one thing that goes through your head is oh my gosh did he just tear his Achilles and uh, obviously, as we found out this morning, as reported by our Sham Shrania at the Athletic, uh, that it was, that was not the case. Uh, it, this is going to be uh, a calf strain for Giannis Dedekumbo, and, and that will obviously probably keep him out here for the rest of the regular season and, you know, a, a good little while here. But timelines for him are always difficult because, uh, as he's shown before, he can be a bit – superhuman in this regard where uh you know you think you see him destroy his left knee in the eastern conference finals in 2021 and then six days later he's playing in game one of the nba finals so um you know i I think undeniably best case scenario was it was not the achilles and that's what that's what ended up happening that that is 
you know, what we've been able to report this morning. But you do still have to try to figure out, uh, you know, how long is this going to keep them out? And then on top of it, I think the, the last time you, you think about one of these injuries is 2019 when Kevin Durant had a calf strain, did it in the second round of the Western Conference playoffs, uh, sat out the Western Conference Finals, comes back in Game 5 of the NBA Finals for the Warriors, and then tears his Achilles in that game, in that same leg. And uh, that's, that's the concern when you're talking about a calf strain. Uh, these are tricky injuries to, to try to come back from, uh, and you have to be careful with them. And uh, while the Bucks are always very careful, Giannis is also uh, very good at being able to play through pain and be able to rehab injuries and do all those things. So it, it leads to what could end up being a pretty tricky situation here for the Bucks is the playoffs, uh, the NBA playoffs start on April 20th. That doesn't necessarily mean the Bucks are going to have a game 10 days from now. It could be 11 days from now, depending on, you know, how the bracket shakes out. Uh, but, you know, you're looking at a playoffs less than two weeks away. Uh, and, you know, calf strains for sure, even even the slight ones tend to take guys out for, for one or two weeks. So uh, we are going to continue to find out more and more about it and, and kind of see where, where Giannis's health is at as, as the Bucks approach the playoffs. So, Eric, we, we saw somewhat during the season, and I think it was early March, that he was missing a game or two with uh, Achilles tendinitis. There was other things. So that was another thing I thought of last night when I saw that. Who makes the call on this? Because Giannis, you, everybody knows Giannis is going to push to get out there. How do you balance, because that Kevin Durant injury that you mm-hmm. just talked about is going to be on everybody's mind, how do you balance that? Because the Bucks, they have Giannis for a while. You don't want to have something like that happen. You want to be very cautious, but you also know you're not going to do anything if he doesn't play. How do you take that balance, and who makes that call on whether or not Giannis is going to play? Yeah, it's it's become even more interesting, I would say, this season. I think it has always been a decision led by the Bucks sports science staff that's, a, that's headlined by Troy Flanagan, Suki Hobson also a part of it, um, one of the more well-respected staffs around the league, um, someone that, you know, the, obviously Giannis has put a lot of trust in over the years and the Bucks have put a lot of trust in over the years. And, you know, kind of how we we had always heard it was, you know, Mike Budenholzer talking about, well, you know, we're going to talk to the sports science staff, we're going to talk to Troy Flanagan, we're going to get it figured out with me, him, and John Horst. Um, and this year, you know, Doc Rivers talked about, you know, the other day, Giannis was dealing with a left hamstring uh, kind of issue. And, you know, he thought he saw him in the third quarter kind of pull up and, and grimace a little bit. And he said, you know, I, after the game, I, I should have probably taken him out. I have eyes. I saw it. And, you know, you guys saw the same thing. And I should have taken him out. But, you know, the training staff said he was good to go. Uh, and Giannis said he wanted to keep playing. So, you know, that's what I kind of did. And that was kind of the first time where we had heard – it's not necessarily dissension, but, you know, there is not that, that same harmonious, um, you know, kind of co-decision making that we've heard in the past. This was, you know, Doc kind of saying, well, the trainer said he was good, so it's their decision. They're the people that are going to do it. And that has kind of been the, the line that Doc has, has taken now, uh, that he's never going to make these decisions. It's always going to be the sports science staff, the the training staff, and they're going to make those decisions. Uh, so I, I agree with you, Tosh. It's a it's a really tough spot because uh, you know you well know every player is always going to want to play. Um, mm-hmm. Every coach is always going to want every player to play. Uh, Doc joked the other night. You know, if it was up to coaches, there'd never be any injuries because everyone would be fine and they would just play. Um, so you do have to have a sports science staff that you trust and is going to look out for the best interests of that player. And, and I do think over the years when, you know, you hear some of the stories from behind the scenes about the rigorous training exercises and, you know, clearance protocols they put the players through, I think you can take some comfort in knowing that the Bucks aren't going to go about this lightly. They're not going to just put him back out there just because he says it. They're going to make him do all the tests that, you know, 
make them feel comfortable that he can actually do that and not, you know, risk even further injury. Uh, but it's just it's just a scary situation, and there's no denying that. Eric, I don't want to be uh, negative, Nelly, and we'll get to what they did with the lineup and and what it might mean moving forward. But this does seem like, as one of my uh, friends with the Bucks called it, the season from hell, the way things have played out in different ways. Is there any thought in your mind, not the Bucks' mind, in your mind, that what you've seen from watching this team throughout this season, and given the Kevin Durant parallels, which ran through my head right away, too, when I saw you report last night that the Bucks were saying it was a what is it, a soleus? I learned a new muscle last night. Yeah, um, that is correct, a soleus strain. Um, I, I thought of Kevin Durant, too. Is there any thought of, hey, this just ain't our year? We can't seem to figure it out. We're getting beat by bad teams. Uh, maybe it would just be smart to be realistic and say, look, we're not winning the NBA title anyway. We should not put our franchise player at risk. Is there... In your mind, I'm sure Doc is not thinking this way, but in your mind, is it possible that that would be the prudent thing for this team to do? Uh, I tend to say no. Um, I, I do understand where you're coming from. Uh, I, do, I do kind of get that, that general thought process. Um, but I, I would also say at the same time, uh, you look through kind of, all of the the different injuries and things that have occurred in the playoffs, around the playoffs, before the playoffs, uh, in all the ways that those things have led to championships for teams. And I think you have to believe, like, okay, maybe things just go right for us. Maybe that's a, that's a thing that can work out. Um, you know, you look at – the, the Toronto Raptors had some injuries, and then it worked out where Kawhi Leonard was healthy in the playoffs, and they got through it. And then all of a sudden, they, they just managed to win a championship. And they got some injury luck in other places uh, with Kevin Durant and things like that. And, you know, you look at some of the injuries that happened to Trey Young, uh, to James Harden, to Kyrie Irving during the Bucks championship run. And I, I just don't think – when you're this close and you have the talent that you have, um, if Giannis is able to get back on the floor, there's a real chance that you have the best player in this series in every playoff series that you have going forward this season. To me, that's not a situation where you can just punt. I, I just don't, I, I don't think that's how this organization has been built over the years. This is an organization that, has always been focused on being in championship contention, giving themselves as many opportunities to do so as possible. Uh, and, and then I think ultimately you probably look at, uh, while you will mention how bad they are uh, against crummy teams, and I believe they have a 455 win percentage against teams under 500, um, their win percentage against teams with a record over 500 is 650. Uh, they've they've beaten up on good teams all year long. Mm -hmm. uh, they they've they've shown the ability to compete against the best teams in the league. Uh, if you look at their starting five, or at least their previous starting five before last night, uh, they're among the best in the league in net rating. You look at uh, the tr the trio, the big three of Giannis, Dame, uh, and Chris, and all of a sudden that also has a, a plus 15 net rating on the season. They've been good when they've been together. So I, I think while there is the, the negative side of this and, you know, the, the things that have brought Bucks fans down this year, uh, and, and to be clear, there, there's plenty of that. Uh, the, there are plenty of reasons why you, you wouldn't be super optimistic. I do think there are still those those other the data points that would suggest that, okay, maybe when they get to the playoffs, they'll just start playing hard all the time and, and they won't take games off against the Washington Wizards because there's no Washington Wizards in the playoffs. Those teams don't exist in the playoffs. It's only good teams. And maybe this is just one of those teams that needs that. Um, so I don't think you can, you can be overly cautious here and, and just say, no, nah, you know what? It's not our year. We're snake bitten. And, and we're just not going to 
we're not going to press our luck. I just don't know if you can do that as as an NBA franchise that's run themselves the way that the Bucks have run themselves over the last six seasons. Talking with Eric Name from The Athletic, you can read his coverage of the Giannis injury and the Bucks' changes for last night's win over the Celtics at The Athletic. Uh, how am I supposed to look at last night's game? Uh, first of all, I've never seen so few free throws attempted in a game. I didn't really understand who was trying their hardest to win and who wasn't. Uh, they changed, The Bucks changed up their rotation and their lineup a little bit. Interpret for those that love the Bucks whether or not this was a step forward or really didn't mean a whole hell of a lot. Uh, as someone who had to watch their last four games, uh, <laughs> that that was a step forward last night. Uh, even with the injury, that was that was a step forward because it, it had been pretty rough for for the last week. Um, you know. Uh, Jay Crowder used all sorts of expletives explaining it to us uh, at shoot-around yesterday, and all of those expletives were correct. It was really, really bad basketball. So that was a step forward. I mean, I think when you look at kind of what they're trying to do, um, throughout this season, they have decided to start Malik Beasley. Malik Beasley started 75 games. He's had a career season. He's shooting 45% from the three-point line. He, I mean, it's, it's really been impressive. But one thing I think – everyone has kind of wondered throughout the season is you already have one offensive focus guard in Damian Lillard. Um, that's been a big talking point as you've gone from an offensive first player, uh, or you've gone to an offensive first player in Damian Lillard from a defensive first player in Drew Holiday. Uh, that's had an impact on the Bucks, but playing him with another offensive focus guard in Malik Beasley, I think at times has hurt their balance offensively. And and I think defensively, it's made it really hard. At the point of the attack, they just haven't been very good as a perimeter defensive team the entire season. In bringing in Patrick Beverly, um, sometimes it might just be because Patrick Beverly is not a confident enough shooter with a torn ligament in his wrist that he's going to take the shot. Uh, but if he doesn't take the shot, that means they're getting to a second action. And this offense throughout the year – when they've been bad, it is because they've tried to do too much on their own. They've tried to do too much on the first action of the offensive possession and not gotten to the second side of the floor and not gotten to the second action and not kept the ball moving. And even if it is because he doesn't want to shoot because he's not confident enough, that means the Bucks are getting into a second action. And I just thought you saw in that first quarter the ball moving around the floor, going side to side, and – Beverly connecting the four best players on the team in a way that when it gets to Malik Beasley, because he is such a good shooter, it's going up. And that's not Malik Beasley's fault. And that's not something that, you know, necessarily you you need to critique Malik Beasley for because he's shooting 45% of the the three-point line. It's a good look. You're just not getting those connective tissue plays and I think Beverly helps do that offensively, and then obviously defensively, he has lost a step or two or maybe three over the years. Um, but he's still physical. He still cares on that end, and, and he's still been given a lot of respect from the officials, and I think that can help out on that end. So uh, I think last night was undeniably positive for the Bucks before the injury. After the injury, it, it's a little bit tougher to, to maybe see the sunshine, uh, you know, through the clouds, but – I do think what you saw from them with the starting lineup change, uh, what was a positive last night. All right, Eric, before we let you go, if I'm asking you to predict, knowing everything you know, the four games before this and the injuries, the Bucks more likely to get knocked out in the first round or make it to the Eastern Conference Finals? I think more likely to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, I wow. think – Throughout the season, and this is, I guess, just something that I have to hold on to because I'm here in the city of Milwaukee and, and I go and watch every Bucks game, but the way in which people have discussed Giannis in his season has, to me, just been pretty disrespectful. Um you know, you, you look at, and this doesn't solve everything, and this isn't exactly how the vote will go, but throughout the season, Tim Bontemps from ESPN does his straw poll of 
the MVP vote and, and what MVP voters past and present are thinking about this year's MVP race. And, you know, you go through it and there's times where eight to 10 voters don't have Giannis in the top five of their MVP voting. And, and I, it's really hard for me to try to comprehend because I think this is maybe his most impressive season. Um, he's put up the individual numbers. He's kept the bucks afloat while all of the turmoil of this season has occurred. Uh, you know, uh, mm-hmm. Damian Lillard coming in, trying to get adjusted and maybe not having the best season that he's ever had. Uh, Adrian Griffin coming in, not being a great coach, uh, not being able to do the things that they've been so used to over the years. Giannis needing to take on a higher leadership role, needing to find ways for the Bucks to win while they're not being as good defensively, trying to do more defensively to help cover up for, you know, the, the things that they're not doing well at the point of attack. Just, Everything that he's done, to me, has been incredibly impressive. And I think because of their struggles and because of that turmoil, it's gotten overlooked a little bit. And that has distracted from the fact that this dude is undeniably one of the two best players on the planet. Maybe three if you want to include Joel Embiid. We'll see what happens when he comes back from an injury. But this dude's right there with Jokic. And if you have that dude on your team – overwhelmingly, if you have the best player in a series, you are going to win that playoff series in the NBA. And and I think, again, we'll have to see what level he can play at when he returns from this injury. But if he can be close to what he's been, the Bucs are going to have the best player in that series, and and that suggests they are going to do well in the playoffs. So I I would lean closer to an Eastern Conference Finals than a first-round exit. All right, Eric, so you can get back to work on your coverage of the Bucks. Last question for me. Who misses uh, – we all, as beat writers, you and I have talked about this before, we all have our go-to guys on the team we cover. Who misses Drew Holiday most? The Bucks defense, Eric named the beat writer, or Sid? I'm trying to figure out because I think all of them miss him to varying degrees, and we're reminded of that. I saw him sit down – in the front row of the seats with some season ticket holders last night. I saw him yucking it up with all of his former teammates. He was one of your go-to guys, right? Do they miss him, and do you miss him? Uh, So, Drew, I miss Drew's personality. Admittedly, uh, and this won't play well on radio, uh, he makes a lot of facial expressions when he talks. Uh, instead of using words, he'll just kind of like look at you sometimes where he'll be like, you know, the defense. And then he like looks at you side-eyed and it's like, well, I can't write that. That's not a good description. I could, it'd be great if you'd use some words, but that's part of Drew's infectious personality. Um, So, you know, for the inches that, you know, I'm trying to fill up, he wasn't always the best for that, despite having a great personality and being a great guy. Uh, So I would, I would lean towards the Bucks defense. The Bucks defense misses Drew the most. The, this defense could could really use someone like that. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed watching him match up with Giannis on multiple occasions. I still don't think that's a great matchup for him as it was last night. Eric, you're a great matchup for us. We always appreciate your insights. Thanks for everything, buddy. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. That is Eric Name of The Athletic. You can read all of his stuff there, including his and Shams' coverage of the Bucks situation, which they did get a win last night, which was obviously much... He's very optimistic. He is more very optimistic positive. optimistic than anybody I know. Yeah. He's we'll talk... more optimistic than anybody that I've talked to. Uh, we'll talk more about Eric's optimism next. It's Will Dean Tausch. This weekend on ESPN Radio, Manny Machado and the San Diego Padres face Mookie Betts, Shohei Otani, and the L.A. Dodgers. Coverage begins Saturday at 8.30 Eastern and Sunday at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio. Presented by Progressive Insurance. Mark Tosher here for the great team at Everlight Solar. I love this time of year on the sports calendar, a new baseball season underway, the basketball playoffs, and speculating what Green Bay will do in the draft. And on top of all that, the weather is getting nicer and the days are getting longer. And that means more sunlight and more encouragement to make the energy switch to Everlight Solar. Wouldn't you love to have a way to save money and save the planet? Well, good news. There is a way. 
It's by making the switch to solar. Our family is one of many who have made the switch over the last several years. When we knew we were ready to make the switch, we met with the Everlight Solar team, and they outlined the entire process and educated us on the benefits of making the switch. Join us in saving a ton of money and creating a greener environment for our family and the community by switching to solar. Learn more and schedule a free consultation at everlightsolar.com. That's everlightsolar.com. You ra ra. Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin present your Badger Minute. Here's Alex Strofe. This Badger Minute brought to you by your Badgerland Chevy dealers, proud supporters of Badger Athletics. Go to BadgerlandChevy.com. Another week and another entry into the transfer portal from the Wisconsin men's basketball team. Junior guard Isaac Lindsay from Mineral Point High School entered the transfer portal on Tuesday. Lindsay began his college career in the 2020-2021 season as a redshirt freshman at UNLV before transferring to Wisconsin the next year. He appeared in 16 games this season for the Badgers. Lindsay now marks the fourth scholarship player to enter the portal for the Badgers, joining A.J. Storr, Connor Sejan, and Gus Yaldin. Get 0% interest for up to 36 months, or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months. Book before April 30th at PellaWI.com. Protect your dream home with American Family Insurance. And you can weather any storm. You'll also save up to 25% by bundling home, auto, and life. American Family Insurance. Get a quote. Find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Discounts may not apply to all coverages on an auto or home policy. Discounts do not apply to life insurance policies. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating companies, American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Step into nostalgia with the Miller High Life Dive Bar of the Week. Listen to Rutledge and Hamilton every Thursday, and we will let you know where you can enjoy $2 Miller High Lifes. To celebrate our love for dive bars, me and Matt are going to tell you about some of our favorites, featuring one extra special dive bar that will have $2 High Lifes on special for the week. Taste the champagne of beer in its natural environment. A delightfully different dive bar in Wisconsin, like Caribou Tavern, Snack Bar and Grill, the pub at Pleasant Springs, and the Dam Bar and Grill. At Gruber Law Offices, we take great pride in helping those who have trusted us after a serious accident. Our team has the knowledge, resources, and experience to get you the results you deserve. Don't wait to get the help you need. Make the right call. Call Gruber Law Offices today. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. Ben Brust here to tell you about the Princeton Club. I joined the Princeton Club because I was looking for a place I could invest in my health, and the environment and the community I have felt has made it so easy for me to incorporate it into my everyday life. It doesn't matter where you're at in your fitness journey because they have something to offer everyone. It also goes beyond fitness. From the moment you walk in the club to the moment you walk out, there is a togetherness felt throughout the members and staff that keeps you going for your better tomorrow. Don't wait any longer and get started on your fitness journey today at PrincetonClub.net. That's PrincetonClub.net. Hey, it's Hunter Vaughn. ESPN Madison and Zimbrick Honda are celebrating the area's best high school sports stories with the Game Changers of the Month. Follow ESPN Madison on social media to see teams making an impact in their community. Nominate your local team today at ESPNMadisonGameChangers.com. Will the Intouch on 100.5 ESPN is brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. Everlight Solar. When you're this close and you have the talent that you have, if Giannis is able to get back on the floor, there's a real chance that you have the best player in the series, in every playoff series that you have going forward this season. To me, that's not a situation where you can just punt. That is the Athletics' Eric Name moments ago with us. We are lucky, our two Bucks buddies, Eric Name of the Athletic and Justin Garcia of the Bucks Radio Network. I know there are some of you that love the Bucks that wish we would talk more Bucks, but... And I know that Tausch is an NBA expert, just ask him. But when we have those two, we are so much smarter because of their visits. And Tausch, his optimism level? I mean, I, I, I appreciate that he said he understood where I was coming from with my question about it. But he thinks they're more likely to be playing 
for a championship than they are to be bounced in the first round of the NBA playoffs. He he is not the he is not in the majority based on the Bucks fans that I interact with. Uh, no, and I think we could pull that, Jesse. The the fact that Giannis, we don't know when and if he's going to be back. Uh, the three games left can put the Milwaukee Bucks in the four spot instead of the two spot. Um, there's a lot of question marks. And if Giannis is not healthy and you're playing Indiana or you're playing New York or whomever you're playing and Giannis isn't out there, you're not – I don't even think you're going to be favored. So I get it, and I think that – I agree with Eric on the point of you don't punt. If Giannis can go, you put him out there and you go. But it's not as easy as just saying Giannis said he can go. The last thing you want to have happen, and I know injuries happen, mm-hmm. is that something bad happens to Giannis and he misses a vast majority of next year mm-hmm. in a season that I think most of us don't think this is going to end up in a championship. Now, we can all be proven wrong, or some of us can be proven wrong, but it just seems like this, as your Bucks buddy told you, is kind of a season from hell. Maybe it'll turn. And, you know, Eric's point on what the, how the Raptors won their championship is very valid. Kawhi Leonard was the best player on earth, and he willed his team to a championship. And, by the way, he missed some time in those injuries to other players, Kevin Durant. Um, that helped lead them to a championship. So it's a two-month grind from the fact when you get to the postseason. So it is another long season. So you don't punt. If you feel like your guys are healthy, you go. But this is going to be a very tricky uh, handling of how your star player who never wants to miss a minute and how you handle his long-term health, I, I think they're going to let Giannis play if he's, if he's ready, and you just hope that everything holds up. I, I know we need to get to the 10 o'clock hour, but you and I – and Eric, had apparently roughly the same thoughts in real time, right? First, oh, my God, he ruptured his Achilles. And then the second thought that I had was, I remember Kevin Durant's injury and him nursing a calf injury and then rupturing his Achilles. And I I am not a physiologist. Uh, The knee bone is connected to the leg bone as the extent of my knowledge of the human anatomy, but... That they do seem related, and to your point, that would scare the crap out of me because if it turns, if that ends up happening, and again, I understand you can't play scared, but if that ends up happening, we're on the precipice of maybe saying, now we got to blow it all up and start over because it's going to be a lost season for them in 2024-25 if he's out for most of the year. I also didn't get to ask Eric this, but I, watching Damian Lillard. He doesn't seem super happy. Now, maybe that's just his personality, but I, I again, I'd be curious to know kind of where he's at with the way this season has gone because it has not been easy for him in his transition, it would appear. All right, we will shift be- gears back to the Packers who are headed to Brazil. Tausch, whether it's Brazil, whether it's Pfizer Forum, whether it's Buck and Honeys, we know that you're going to take – Every opportunity to have yourself a Coors Light. Indeed, I will. Coors Light brewed with a three-step cold process. Cold lager, cold filtered, and it's cold packaged, so it's made to chill in the mountains. It's going to be a beautiful day, 70-plus, uh, I think, and you want to make sure that your mountains on Coors Light's cold-activated bottles and cans are blue. That's when you know it is chilled to perfection. That's why it's Coors Light in my hand. When I need a moment to chill, celebrate responsibly. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. The 10 o'clock hour starts in two minutes. It's Wilde and Tausch. Don't go anywhere. Another hour of Wilde and Tausch, presented by Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin, is coming up next on ESPN Wisconsin, the ESPN app, and Wisconsin On Demand. Mark Tauscher here, and when I was on the hunt for a hot tub, I found Patio Pleasures, a locally owned family business. Patio Pleasures has a passion for making your home a place for recovery and relaxation. And that's why I'm excited about my new cold plunge from Patio Pleasures. They only showcase premium recovery and relaxation products, and that's how I know it's going to be great. Gear up for spring and check out Patio Pleasures' two incredible showrooms, Madison West and Sun Prairie. 
Hey, this is former Badger Brad Norman. Norman is a fake. Great call and great execution. You're listening to a Good Karma Brands radio station. 100.5 ESPN, WTLX, Monona, Madison. Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studio, this is your Metro Kia of Madison Sports Center. Good morning, Madison and streamers everywhere. I'm Jesse Nelson, Sports Center, brought to you by Goodman's Jewelers, the diamond store of Madison for generations. Check them out, 220 State Street and online at goodmansjewelers.com. All kinds of breaking news today on 100.5 ESPN, brought to you by Metro Kia of Madison. It starts with the Green Bay Packers, who are bound for Brazil. ESPN's Adam Schefter reporting that the Green Bay Packers will face the Philadelphia Eagles Friday, September 6th in Sao Paulo, the first NFL game ever played in Brazil. The game will be televised exclusively on Peacock in Madison. That game will not be available over the air on regular television. Again, that's the opener for the 2024 NFL season for the Packers and Eagles, the second game of the year. The opener will take place on Thursday night. Then Packers-Eagles Friday night, September 6th in Brazil on Peacock. Plenty of reactions continuing. More on Wilde and Tausch straight ahead on 100.5 ESPN. NBA Giannis avoided major injury, it appears, after leaving last night in the third quarter. Bucks beat Metro the Kia of Madison, Madison's trusted Kia dealer. Stop into Metro Kia on the east side of Madison or MetroKiaOfMadison.com. Clock hour starting very late. My apologies. Of Wilde and Tausch does begin now, though. So, I, do you think we're homers? To a certain extent, on some things, yeah. Okay, because I I I think that goes both ways, and I would say this uh, about Eric Name from the Athletic and his Bucks coverage as well. I, you know, I was texting with him after his segment there, and I, look, I think he. He's got a great relationship with Giannis, uh, kind of like the one that I had during most of Aaron Rodgers' career in Green Bay, where there's a connection there, and you, you get to know the player, and you really believe in what he's capable of, right? And I think he, when he says that he thinks Giannis has proven to be superhuman, and he cites the example of that knee injury that we all thought. Remember how we were thinking at the time of that knee injury during the playoffs? On their way to the title, uh, well, so much for that, right? He's done, yeah, yeah. and it turns out he's playing in the NBA Finals, and they go and win a title. I just, I, I don't know how, knowing what happened, and everyone's different, and I'm not saying it's going to happen to him, but I don't know how you don't worry about a Kevin Durant 2.0 situation there. So I, I would assume that the challenge here. And this is the case, you played with guys like this, you were this type of guy, all you offensive linemen have that attitude, I can play through anything. Tore my MCL, I'm not missing a game, right? It sounds to me like that is Giannis has an offensive lineman's type of personality when it comes to playing through injury. And don't you think that you have to protect players from themselves sometimes? And how hard of a line is that to walk? Uh, it's a trust thing with your doc and your training staff. So the player is never looking long-term, typically. They're looking, especially when it comes to playoffs. Uh, if it's a regular season game, it's easy. You just sit. But with this, when you're looking at another year clicking off, you got a veteran team like you do. Mm-hmm. If you feel like you can even be 70%, you're going to think that my 70% is better than anybody else's 100%. You're going to go out there, and you just don't want to miss it. So that's why I think it's going to be very tricky to sort through because you know that Giannis is going to push to play when he feels like he's 
close to even being able to go out there and do it. And that's why that trust that Eric was talking about that the the Bucks science and training staff have is that if it's not right, they're not going to let him go out there. Well, that's great to say. It's another thing when, you know, you're getting lined up and the and five serve is full and it's game six and it's a you need to close up shop or you got to go back on the road. Mm-hmm. That's when it gets dicey when the money's on the table. And you saw it with Kevin Durant. He knew he didn't want to play. He didn't think he should, and he felt like he'd be letting his teammates down, and he mm-hmm. goes out there and bam. So it's not an easy answer, and you just trust that the people are going to make smart decisions. So uh, independent of the Giannis injury situation, if we were playing skeptic or a, or a believer, you are a skeptic in this Bucks team at this point, yes, which I, I think is a totally reasonable yeah. position to hold. Yeah, I, uh, I, I think when you – Kind of look at this Bucks run. I was all in for about three or four years. They win the championship. And you just felt like at some point they're getting old. It happens quick. You have a veteran team that has got a nut whack, and you have all that, and then all of a sudden, boom, guys can't. You, know, you can still do it once in a while. Can you do it consistently? This team got old. And there's, you know, some limitations defensively that when you made that trade, now can they outscore people and win games? Absolutely. And Giannis is still, you know, one of the best players in the league. But that's not enough to get it done. So uh, you know, when Middleton's healthy, when Dalla Dame's healthy, you know, they're plus 15, I think he said. Uh, they had a chance to beat anybody. But I just think they're so – there's so many issues defensively that I think anybody can beat them as well. So I'm never going to bet against Giannis if he's fully healthy. Mm-hmm. But I think this is a tough, tough slog. Although they seem to have Boston's number when they play Boston, at least this year. Although I don't know how fully engaged Boston was last night in that game. Didn't look like it, uh, to be honest. All right. Uh, I want to shift gears back. I don't know if I misread this, but I was reading Mark Murphy's Take 5 column on Saturday, and there was a question from Mark T., and I was very intrigued by it. And I wondered if old T. would have submitted a question as Mark T. to Mark M. We'll talk about that question coming up as we get back to the Packers. Tausch, before that, Tell us a little bit about prize picks, which I see everywhere. I saw commercials for it during the college basketball tournament. I've seen it during the Bucks games that I've been watching on TV. They're everywhere now, not just here on this program. Well, we started with them. We love prize picks. They're America's number one fantasy sports app. Got over 3 million active members, and it is simple. Pick more or less on two to six player stat projections. And just watch the winnings roll in. You can win up to 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. And I love this weekend. Augusta National. Golf is super fun. They have all kinds of options. they got Amen Corner. they got pretty much every golfer you can think of, how many birdies they make, how what their score is. You can get into all of that. And Jesse helped me. I know Joshy helped me. I'm not a big MMA fan. But they give away free squares once in a while. Justin Gaethje? No, Gaethje, I believe, is what we've settled on. Gaethje. Gaethje. Justin Gaethje. You know, typically in an MMA fight, UFC, you get 100-some strikes. 0.5 strikes. Pretty certain. Now, again, crazy things can happen. Yeah. You get knocked out, so you can't say it's a guarantee. Feel pretty good that Gaethje. Justin Gaethje, Gaethje, 0.5 strikes is a winner. So. <laughs> I've heard it both ways. So you go there, you got From that, him. you got all the Masters, you got NBA basketball, you got the playoffs coming up. Prize Picks has your back. Download the app today. Use the code WI for a first deposit match up to 100 bucks. That's code WI on Prize Picks for a deposit match up to 100 bucks. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. I like when you call it a gimme because it's not for sure. It's not totally certain, but it's pretty. I mean, anything can happen. Yeah. But .5 strikes in a UFC is. Gimme that. I mean, I'm in on that one. Uh, Again, not for sure, not 100%, but pretty strong. Not for certain, not for sure. Now. Yeah, I'm going to miss that read. 
That was one of my all-time favorite reads. Um, the projection on times that we say the name Mark Murphy in the next segment is Would you rather five. have fried chicken for life or ice cream for life from Quick Trip? Is there a is there an ice cream promotion around the corner? And no, I think there's I'll be gonna, eligible? I, I don't know if there's going to be something to that degree, but I'm just curious if you had a pick. Ice cream. You get co- you get coffee for life, you get ice cream for life, or you get fried chicken for yeah, life. Ice what cream. The f- the fried chicken is the most versatile because you've got the tenders, the nug or the uh, wings, uh yeah, they get, but you they get, get like a, a single cup yeah. of coffee every day. You get yeah. eight pieces a week, and you get one gallon of ice cream a week. It, I mean, it's Which all, way are you going? It's Different all flavors. good. I'm saying I, it, if I'm picking the best of all three, I think the chicken provides the most variety of all three. I can do the most with that. It's not an easy call. No. It's just not. It is for me. Ice cream all day. We will talk about the Packers and their trip to Brazil and other aspects of the green and gold next it's wildy and tausch this is wildy and tausch presented by pella windows and doors of wisconsin call gina della from pella today 855 pella wi and online at pella wi.com slash radio mark tausch here for chalmers jewelers i've been a big fan of scott and garrett and the whole team at chalmers jewelers for years now i go there my friends go there and most importantly my wife loves it whenever i get her something from chalmers jewelers what's right around the corner mother's day Show some love to the incredible women in your life and stop at Chalmers Jewelers, the place to go for that perfect gift. I recommend Chalmers Jewelers in Middleton and Madison. Chalmers Jewelers in Middleton and Madison. Beautify your entertainment space with Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Hi, this is Gina Della from Pella. Turn your ordinary space into something extraordinary with brand new Pella Windows. Plus, getting the perfect windows and doors for your home has never been easier. Right now, get 0% interest for up to 36 months. Or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months if you book before April 30th. Take ownership of your living space and make it a place worth living with Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Hi, I'm attorney David Gruber. After an accident, you need a trusted winning team on your side. For more than 30 years, Gruber Law Offices has helped Wisconsin families get the results they deserve. If you've been injured, call our firm today for a free consultation. We're available 24-7. Wisconsin's own Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of your Milwaukee Brewers. One call, that's all. Step into nostalgia with the Miller High Life Dive Bar of the Week. Listen to Rutledge and Hamilton every Thursday, and we will let you know where you can enjoy $2 Miller High Lifes. To celebrate our love for dive bars, me and Matt are going to tell you about some of our favorites, featuring one extra special dive bar that will have $2 High Lifes on special for the week. Taste the champagne of beer in its natural environment. A delightfully different dive bar in Wisconsin, like Caribou Tavern, Snack Bar and Grill, The Pub at Pleasant Springs, and The Damn Bar and Grill. It's Chevy truck season, and there's no better time to do what you do best. No better time to get the job done in a Chevy Silverado with best-in-class standard torque and a Turbomax engine with a five-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty that outlasts both Ford and Ram. So kick off whatever your thing is season right, because it all starts with a Chevy truck. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Based on latest competitive data, excludes other G vehicles, whichever comes first. See dealer for limited warranty details based on Ford and Ram. Five-year, 60,000-mile warranty on gasoline engines. Jesse Nelson here. Join Adam Mertz and me for the grand opening of the Bogey Factory in Verona. Experience indoor virtual golf like never before, including the same state-of-the-art track man technology as seen on the PGA Tour. ESPN Madison at the Bogey Factory, Saturday, April 13th from noon to 2. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know. We felt that way, too. And that's why we did something about it. We aren't just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Sponsored by the Wisconsin Army National Guard. Aired by the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association and this station. Since 1956, Holman Lindsay Paints has been making paint in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. 
Because of their commitment to making great paint for Wisconsinites, Holman Lindsay has grown over the years to 26 locations in this great state. Headquarters in Sun Prairie with a state-of-the-art facility, Holman Lindsay has the paints you need to make your job better. From do-it-yourself to professional, Holman Lindsay has paint for everyone. Visit one of their local locations today in Madison, Sun Prairie, Middleton, and Janesville. Hey, it's Hunter Vaughn. ESPN Madison and Zimbra Honda are celebrating the area's best high school sports stories with the Game Changers of the Month. Follow ESPN Madison on social media to see teams making an impact in their community. Nominate your local team today at ESPNMadisonGameChangers.com. The 2024 NFL Draft on ESPN Radio. Are you ready? Live from the heart of downtown Detroit, Michigan. The NFL Draft is now officially open. The countdown rolls on. The 2024 NFL Draft on ESPN Radio, ESPN, and on ABC. We got Steve the Homer True coming up shortly, but first, let's get back to the Packers and let's get to Old T's question. Now, I, I don't, I, it's very important to me to be factually accurate. This was not you. Correct? You did not su- submit this question to Mark Murphy? So you think that I sent a message into Packers.com to Mark Murphy? Um, you might have. It would have been sneaky. Okay. You, you think I did? Is that what you're telling me? No, I don't, actually. Did you, ever, for any segment, actually ever think that this was me that sent it? No. Okay. So why would you, it, just because it's fun? Or, of course I didn't. But <laughs> I saw when you sent that over, uh, no, I did not. For factual accuracy, no, I didn't. Would you, would you ever call yourself Mark T.? Um, I guess I can never say never. Like so, when you were in fourth grade, were there two marks in your school, yeah, in you, your class, you and you had to be Mark T and Mark, Mark J? At the top of a test before. You have totally done that at some probably. point in your life. Yeah, probably. But the name Mark, how many how many kids born now are named Mark? Great Mark question. Is not many. Name. Marcus nope. Damask. Yeah, but Jesse, don't be a Damask. He's like 20 years old, 21 years old. Yeah, it's not as popular as it used to be. And it's a great name. Strong. Strong name. Should yes. Be back. Like Oak. Should very, grow. very firm. Yes, great name. Uh, and so Mark T., not you's question, was uh, about why basically he makes himself so visible. Mark Murphy does. Another Mark. Um, because he takes a lot of uh, shrapnel, as Mark T. on our program might use that phrase. So here's my thing, and this is why it was interesting to me, not just because I thought, because I never did, it might be you. My question is this. uh, Is it good that Mark Murphy puts himself out there? Because that was the ethos of the question. And quite frankly, I would guess, and I don't know this for certain, but I would guess that each and every time he has a microphone in front of him, that there is at least some uneasiness among the people that are in charge of messaging over at 1265 Lombardi Avenue that he may say something that they would prefer was not said. Or he may say something in a way that is less than ideal. And I always use the example of when I asked him about fans' frustration with ticket prices going up. On the record, in our pre uh, financial meeting interview with him many years ago, and he said, "Well, fans always complain about everything." Like, I, apparently, they like being <laughs> old. I mean, that would have been a bad look, and I put that front and center in my story at the time. But he doesn't have much of a filter. So, is it a good thing, in your opinion, that he is at the forefront as frequently as he is? So, I think if you're the front face of an organization, which Mark Murphy is, you need to be. Now, does that mean that he does everything perfect? No, obviously he doesn't. But 
I think if you're going to get vetted and hired for that job, and he has done that job since 2007, so he's 17 years in. He's led this team to a lot of success. He's had, he's done some things that I disagree with. He's done some things that have been really smart. His business acumen, you know, and building up all of Title Town. Some people could say, well, that's not really him. Hey, you know the deal. You get the, you reap the benefits of the people you hire. And the, de- the deliverables that you get and the deliverables of Title Town are big time. So I think all in all, yes, I think it is good. He is raw, and he speaks kind of stream of conscious. So I think all in all, yeah, I think it is good. Uh, you Jesse, well, no, I look, I, I, I know that he and I have had our differences, and I know that I hold uh, you him. Questioned, you questioned his ability to know anything about football. <laughs> I don't think that that's an accurate depiction of what I did. You uh, said, but what the hell makes you uh, available? To I didn't make this say what the that... hell makes you qualified. It's not that's how I in said. In essence, it. what you said. Yeah, how, that was... you said it that way, but you didn't say it with that tone. It was. I didn't very... say what the hell. <laughs> in but fairness. that was what you meant. So again. The, the, those of us, and he did not coach here, he did not play here, he did not work here before he got the presidency. Uh, there are a lot of people over at 1265 Lombardi Avenue who are not uh, dyed-in-the-wool Packers fans or Wisconsinites. And again, the structure that he chose to embark on after interviewing Goody and after Goody interviewed under the presumption that he would be overseeing all of football operations like Ron Wolf and like Ted Thompson. And I firmly believe that Mark Murphy's reasoning in part was that he really wanted Russ Ball to be the GM. And there was the backlash from the head coach uh, and from the quarterback. Well, Jason Wildey snuffed that out and said, no, sir. It was, it was not Russ me. I was not in job. charge of that. And I like There's Russ. I get along great with him. Why are you always trying to, to stir stuff up, Jason? Stuff brewing. But there. the head coach and the general manager, or the head coach and the quarterback, not the general manager, although he may have thought he should have been, uh, did not like that. So Goody gets the job and he changes the structure. My point... I remember, and I have heard from many who covered the team long before I was old enough to, that that was a dysfunctional situation. And while they have won in spite of it, they have not won a title since they changed things. And if you want to argue that quarterbacks cover up a multitude of blemishes, among them might be the way the structure works. You know, with your coach having to walk back the idea that he wasn't aware that you were swapping out running backs and it caught you by surprise and everything else. So my point was simply at the time, what makes you think that this, you're, you're making the right decision here? Qualified. And then when he fired Mike McCarthy and announced that he would be hiring the coach, I asked the same thing. But the bottom line is, is that from a business perspective, we all agree. They've done a phenomenal job on his watch. Uh, they have made money hand over fist. Not sure why they need to change the lease with the city, but that's another topic for another day. The bottom line is he's done a great job in that realm. And he does have a varied level of experience, having been an NFL player, having been an athletic director, etc. That said, I do think that there are times when he says things as a reporter that I'm like, yeah, all right, way to keep things interesting for me. But if I worked in the building, I would be nervous when microphones were in front of him. And I don't think anyone ever felt that way when Bob Harlan was speaking. That's all. That's my well, only you're critique. Incredibly bi- you're incredibly biased. So are you. You, are. you went on a bus tour I love with Bob. Bob, Harlan. Bob loves you. Listen, you love Bob. I'm a big Bob Harlan fan. I don't think Mark Murphy is as bad as you do. Bad is strong. I would say uh, Jason, conversationally you, inept. You said Bob Harlan would never be caught doing the tubing thing. Bob Harlan would never change that structure. Bob I, Harlan, so, when there was a fire alarm in the team hotel in Tampa, put a suit and tie came down in a suit and tie instead of his pajamas in the middle of the night. 
Do you think a year and a half ago, Matt LaFleur was more concerned when Mark Murphy was being interviewed or Aaron Rodgers was being interviewed? <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I, I think he trumps everything uh, in, the, in the waning years of his time uh, speaking with a microphone. All right. Uh, we... Listen, here's the deal. When Bob Harlan left, the Packers made a decision to go more corporate, to go more business, pro business, to make more money, mm-hmm. and to get a lot of Packer people that have been a part of it for a long time out. And they have built a hell of a business, much bigger than I think anyone ever would have thought. And Mark Murphy has spearheaded that. That was what he was brought in to do, and he's executed that. Apparently they like green and gold. We got to get the Chippewa Falls. Mark Murphy likes green. The Green Bay Packers like green. And the NFL likes green. And it's, I think a big part of it is, you know, he's got a lot of NFL people. that They use him as, what do you call it, a trial balloon guy? Yeah. Or they use him to throw ideas out that you think, what the hell would Mark Murphy say that for? Well, because they can utilize him. And they can say, oh, that sounds like a good idea. Let's have Mark throw that out there. And Mark does it. He does indeed. All right. Uh, we need to get to Homer, who you never know what he might say, too, when a microphone's oh, in front of him. Oh, I have an him. idea. I know where this is going. And preemptive. I'm going to be preemptive again. I'm not, oh, no. I am not going to go Great. there. <laughs> I, I will let you two work that out. I am going to mute up on this whole golf thing. I know it bothers you. He is going to push to get you to do it. I am muting up when you guys have this discussion. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll mute up too, and it'll just be a uh, Homer soliloquy during the segment because Lord knows he's done enough shows by himself. He can certainly carry an entire program. Uh, tell us about the Packers and AmFam before we get to Homer, please. Well, calling all Packer fans, American Family Insurance. They want to see you and a friend in Detroit for this year's draft. Enter the Dream Draft Day sweepstakes. For the chance to win two tickets to the draft, travel and hotel accommodations to Detroit, a customized jersey, and much, much more. Go to amfam.com slash Packers to learn more and to enter. Homer's next. It's Wilde and Tausch. This is Wilde and Tausch, driven by Zimbrick Chevrolet in Sun Prairie on 100.5 ESPN. See their full inventory at zimbrickchevrolet.com. ESPN Wisconsin's Mark Tauscher here for my friends at Kohler Services. If you need a bath or shower remodel, turn to Kohler Services. Family owned for 150 years, Kohler is your Wisconsin manufacturer providing care for life. And this month only, pay zero interest for 12 months and get a free shower door with your Lugstone shower remodel. Visit KohlerServicesWI.com to request your free quote with fast, professional installation always included. That's KohlerServicesWI.com. Hey, it's Alex Strofe. Stay in the know on area high school sports and follow ESPN Madison on Twitter for Prep Mania on Deck, each week's preview of the top games and events. Prep Mania on Deck is brought to you by Zimbra Conda, a proud supporter of high school sports and local communities. Ben Brust here to tell you about the Princeton Club. I joined the Princeton Club because I was looking for a place I could invest in my health, and the environment and the community I have felt has made it so easy for me to incorporate it into my everyday life. It doesn't matter where you're at in your fitness journey because they have something to offer everyone. It also goes beyond fitness. From the moment you walk in the club to the moment you walk out, there is a togetherness felt throughout the members and staff that keeps you going for your better tomorrow. Don't wait any longer and get started on your fitness journey today at PrincetonClub.net. That's PrincetonClub.net. As you're putting your spring calendar together, we'd love to have you join us Saturday, May 18th for Marco Siki's sixth annual Casting for Kids Fishing Tournament to support the American Family Children's Hospital, UW Carbone Cancer Center. We're on the Madison Chain of Lakes early, then back at the Alliant Energy Center for 2.30 happy hour, dinner, and live and silent auctions with cool autographed hockey items, guided tours, and a brand new fishing boat. There's even more on our website, castingforkids.org. Help us help the kids, castingforkids.org. This update is sponsored by UW Credit Union. For every stage of life, UW Credit Union is here for every you. Every Brewers regular season Friday home game at American Family Field, ticketed fans 21 and over who sit in the Miller Lite beer pin in the left field loge bleachers will receive a free Brewers can holder courtesy of Miller Lite. Join UW Credit Union at uwcu.org. Insured by NCUA. When you're in the right place at the right time, things get done. 
The important things, like knowing what you need and how it all works. Talking Truck. Fixing it right the first time. At Zimbrick Chevrolet, our people get it done right and now. That's how you know you're in the right place at the right time. And you'll never overpay at Zimbrick Chevrolet. Mark Tosher here for Chalmers Jewelers. I've been a big fan of Scott and Garrett and the whole team at Chalmers Jewelers for years now. I go there, my friends go there, and most importantly, my wife loves it whenever I get her something from Chalmers Jewelers. But what's right around the corner? Mother's Day. Show some love to the incredible women in your life and stop at Chalmers Jewelers. The place to go for that perfect gift. I recommend Chalmers Jewelers in Middleton and Madison. Chalmers Jewelers in Middleton and Madison. Hi, this is Lee, inviting you to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse in Middleton. We got a great happy hour every day of the week from 4 o'clock to 7. And our patio during the summer is open too. If you're getting married, a special occasion, a birthday, anniversary, or even a business meeting, we've got all the accommodations right here at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. You work hard and sometimes you're not sure what you want to do, where you want to spend your money. I want to encourage you to come into Ruth's Chris Steakhouse and say hello. It'd be a pleasure to meet you. Transform your home with Ridgetop Exteriors. With over 22 years of service excellence, we specialize in roofing, siding, windows, doors, and gutters. Visit us today at RidgetopExteriors.com. That's RidgetopExteriors.com. Find your trusted, local, affordable partner here at Ridgetop Exteriors. We're on the Bucks. With this think, team, the way they travel on the road and how they're built. Because we're on Wisconsin sports. You think Doc thinks they're winning a championship? Nobody covers the Bucks like 100.5 ESPN. Star of stage, screen, radio, YouTube. You hear them every weekday on the Homer Hour, 5 to 6. Across ESPN Milwaukee, ESPN Beaver Dam, and ESPN Wisconsin.com. You hear him on the Marquette Men's Basketball Radio Network, although not as long as we'd hoped we would, as they were eliminated in their Sweet 16 game by eventual Final Four participant NC State. Then, of course, there's always God Talk, My Faith with Homer and Pip on YouTube. It is Steve the Homer True. Homer, good morning. How are you? Uh, I still haven't recovered from yesterday. What well, happened yesterday? $5,000 for you to play golf, and uh, you turned it down, so I've moved on. Good. I'm glad you've so, moved on. Yeah. Uh, are you concerned as much as I am? I think Tausch is telling me not to be quite as worried as I am about it, but are you as concerned as I am about a calf injury leading to an Achilles tear and that the Bucks aren't going anywhere anyway, so why don't you just call it a year and not have Giannis put himself at risk? No, I don't, uh, I, I'm not an expert on Achilles tear, but I think I am. There's no way it's an Achilles tear. I mean, when you have people that do that, they, it snaps and they can't even. No, walk. it's and not right. It's clear, I, I, it, it wasn't, I understand I it's no, not now. I have no concern of one. Okay. I have no concern at all. But I have an expert on calf injuries. You need to contact Dr. Tony Smith, uh, my partner, who oh my is. Expressed How many doctors do you work with? Uh, he's a basketball doctor, not a overall doctor. But he. Dr. Brian Belaga. He has emphasized the one injury that people have no idea how bad it is is the calf injury. And it's like there is major concern, but you'll, I'll let him answer, and I'll be curious what he says. There is major concern about Giannis's ability to play well the rest of this season. Like, it can take at least a couple of weeks. It can be even longer than that. People have no idea how bad a calf injury is. Now, I think someone asked Damian Lillard, and he had some responses which seemed appropriate to mm -hmm. what. Uh, because you look and you think calf is just a dinky little thing, right? And <laughs> He Tony talked about it last it, night. Yep. And he had one, it and it was bad. It, yes, bad. So don't even think of Achilles. Never had the slightest concern, having seen others that had it. Um well, Rodgers would be the same way. I mean, uh, Giannis was able to walk, I would say, relatively easily. But um, 
you, we're all going to learn, sadly, about how bad a calf injury can be. And I won't say any more because I'm, I'm curious to see what Tony says as to uh, his concern. But uh, I think it's possible that uh, Giannis will never be 100% the rest of this season. But maybe I'm going too far, Al. I would really shouldn't say any more and just let Tony talk because he's he appears I viewed him as the expert on as a doctor of basketball, but not only that, but the calf injury because I remember when he told me I said you're kidding. He said, no, you don't want a calf injury ever. So okay, well uh, I look for when is is Tony still doing Thursdays with you on your program? Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Appointment listening uh, Thursday on Homer, the Homer Hour with Homer and yeah. Tony, 5 to 6 on ESPN Milwaukee. But I would be fair to say that when I read what Damian Lillard said, it was similar to Tony's belief. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that would be, and my point would be to So does that mean Dame is also a doctor, or is it just Tony? And Brian Balaga. Uh, I would, no, I would say Damian, based on what he said, I would now, I would give him category as basketball doctor. For example, I believe that you are a football doctor. Okay. You're just handing out doctor like they're peanuts. Yes, well, they because do I think PhDs. players. The only thing, yeah, the only thing would be if someone said I don't, I don't have any experience with that injury. For example, when Tyler Kolick had the oblique, Tony said, uh, "I'm out. I got nothing. I, I, I don't know anything about it, and I've never." It's kind of a narrow you know, specialty. Of course, yes, their sport, yes. That's why he's referred to as a basketball doctor and why Tausch is a football doctor. Any injury relative to a football player that Tausch has some experience with, yes, he's the expert. I don't need to talk to anybody who's got a regular MD. Tausch is more knowledgeable than that regular AD. So what would you have your MD in? Radio, TV, Edutainment. Uh, I mean, as far as you no, know, as far as injuries, I could be tennis injuries. I could be a tennis doctor, sure. Yeah. No, just like in life. What's your life thing? I'm a pretty good judge of talent. I think I've done very well at that. Not my own, but others. Like, yeah, this guy can do it. Um, for example, our boss, Greg Scalzo. I told him mm-hmm. you can ask him four years ago. You're the next guy. You're going to replace uh, – who was the guy before him, the, the older guy? Um, he's still with the company. Come on. Steve Wexler. Steve Wexler. And at the time, I don't know – I don't even know what <laughs> – The older was. guy, Homer says yeah, at age 69. I was, I, yes. Yeah, well, I'm the older guy too. I, but, but anyway, I, it was, I think that when I was doing the show, I think he was still in Madison. It's been four or five years. I said, you're Wexler, you're the next guy after Wexler. Mm-hmm. You call him, ask him. So that's – I think I have an ability to, to uh, okay. be a pretty good judge of talent. What other uh, talent judgments do you have on your resume? Dwayne Wade, uh, Travis yes, Diener. Dwayne, Dwayne Wade, yeah, yeah. I'd say uh, I offered. It is documented at the banquet, which Marquette has again tonight. I said um, before we're done, uh, Jimmy Butler's final year, I said write this down. No one's listening, but it's going to be on. Kemba Walker will be a great NBA player because they had just won the national title. And I said, Jimmy Butler will be better. And I said, Jimmy, can I be your agent? And I walked back. What did he say? He laughed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he goes, hmm. come on, Homer, you're kidding. I said, kidding, there's nobody, I don't even know who your agent is, that believes that you're going to be as good as I believe you're going to be. And then he kept laughing, so I thought, well, I guess. Hmm. Guess he doesn't want to pick me. You're right. Maybe you were right about yeah. him too. Right. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm trying to think who I was wrong on. It was somebody I was really. I did. Well, I who did was that think. linebacker that you said you didn't know much about him, but you liked him? Who was that guy? Yes. Yeah, that guy. Yes. <laughs> I, I can't remember his name. Um, I don't know much AJ about Hawk, him. I want to be clear on everything. AJ Hawk <laughs> is going to be in the Packer Hall of Fame, but the amount yes. of years that it will take him is an indication there is nothing, maybe as a teammate, but nothing special about A.J. Hawk, other than what his teammates said, captain, all that other kind of stuff. But on the field, well, and it the makes no difference. He's it's the all-time seventh tackler in the history of uh, 
He's the all-time leading tackler. Right, because he had is other that not skills. a special stat? No, it is not. That's as not a special the, stat. Uh, hold on. No, it is not. As proven by the oh, other okay. leaders of tackles. Let me finish, and I'll explain. If oh. you play that position, it doesn't matter if you're average. You're going to have an incredible number of tackles. Check the leading tacklers for the Packers every season. Uh, well, uh, well, who is the guy? Martinez? Who's the guy who ended up with the Giants? Blake Martinez. Blake Martinez. Is he going to be in the Packer Fall Hall of Fame? Hell no. But how He's many not. years did he lead nope. the Packers in tackling? Check. What, three, Couple. four, whatever? Couple. Yeah, yeah. If I played that position, I would have led the Packers in tackling. No, you wouldn't have. No, yeah. you wouldn't Yeah, yeah. If I was no, good enough to, to play I'm that t- position. The credit to well, A.J. Yeah, well, Hawkins is he had well, other skills that kept him on the team long enough. You play in that position for the Packers as many years as A.J. Hawk, you will replace him as the leading tackler. The key is the position. Mm. This has nothing to do with the where he was drafted. It's not a question of how good a draft pick he is. It is a question of how good a football player he is. All right. Anything else you two would like to argue about? Because Homer only yeah, has till eleven o'clock, so I was thinking maybe we would just do one uh, portion of the program with you guys him. Going to Brazil? So yeah, okay, Homer. Yeah, what do you think? Because I think Mark Murphy played chess on this and didn't want to take his team over there, but thought, all right, if you can assure me, I'm not giving up any more home games over the next decade. We'll plug our nose. We'll be the good soldiers, and we'll go over to Brazil. I think this is awesome. You get to play early in the season. You do, it's not going to be a rest thing because you got a little buffer zone. You get to lead into it with training camp. If you're going to go play an international game, it's the perfect time. You're playing against a team that's going to probably be battling with you playoff-wise, and you don't have to go to their place. Other than the temperatures, what's the negative in this? I think this is awesome for everybody involved. I agree with you a thousand percent. And the only the, the thing you have to realize about Mark Murphy, good or bad, he's a suck up to the league. He'll do anything for the league, and it's benefited the Packers. For example, mm-hmm. him being a suck up to the league, that's why they have the draft. If Mark Murphy had not dealt with the league the way he has, they can count on him for anything. Jason, you can remember the other experiences where he said stuff to the, about what the league plans were, kind mm-hmm. of no stuff. But yeah, he sucked up to the league and. They gave him for all the things you said, Tosh. And the biggest part is it's a Philly home game. Better to play them Mm -hmm. anywhere than in Philly. It's a break for the Packers. And just your everything's right. It's yes. If the Packers do well next year, they deserve to send a letter to thank the commissioner. Part of it will be the benefit of playing in Brazil instead of Philadelphia. There could be it's a hundred percent. Who could be? Who would no rather play in Philly it. than Brazil? Put it down as a Wilder, Wilde and Taos poll question because you'll learn how many people are stupid. Whoever says they'd rather play in Philly, you don't. That's what you're learning. <laughs> the unvarnishedness of Uncle Homer with statements like, "Wait a minute, find, wait a minute, find out which of your listeners are wrong. stupid." Tell me why I'm wrong. They're stupid no, on this opinion. I, 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 Not stupid I, as I, a person, but I understand. <laughs> Uh, okay. No, I'll you're not wrong. Work. I just find it humorous that you are blunt from time to time. Uh, speaking of being blunt, uh, when we look at this game opening the season, I just saw an interesting stat from uh, Wes Hodkowitz that says in his time as the Packers head coach, Matt LaFleur still hasn't opened a season at Lambeau Field, which is crazy to me. They have not had a week one game at Lambeau Field since Mike McCarthy's last season. When you're blunt about the Packers' chances this season and you're looking at this aspect of it, that they won't have to play another NFC contender on the road, say in late November when the playoff picture is starting to come into focus, what else are you seeing as an advantage for this team? Because we talked to a bunch of players, and Brian Belaga, your favorite doctor of football, before they departed on the tailgate tour yesterday. And I'll tell you this, the current players, uh, brimming with confidence, they are big believers in what this team can be. It was pretty evident in our conversation with them. Yeah, that's great because they all know, uh, as Taos will agree, there's nothing like knowing you got a quarterback. Mm-hmm. You believe in that guy, you are in every game. Mm-hmm. So the standard to me is they, the, the goal, the standard to me is they got to make the NFC championship game. 
It doesn't mean it's a horrible season if they don't make the playoffs. It's slightly disappointing if they don't make the NFC. Uh, got to make the playoffs. Probably got to win one game. But, yeah, the standard for this team is you got to make the NFC championship game. That's, uh, that's where you should be after last year. I'll yeah. join that club. I, I, I don't disagree. Yeah. And and I don't think that Elton Jenkins or Rashid Walker or Do we need to win the division, Homer, for it to be dis- – are we going to be disappointed if they don't win the division? Uh, no, but you're right. It will make it tougher to achieve the other stuff. Yeah. Yep. And right. they're certainly good enough. But let's say Detroit is really good and Detroit is, I don't know, 13-4 and four and the Packers are 12-5 and five or whatever. There's a uh, – it would yeah. make it more difficult. So I'd like it, but – uh, as everybody's earned, understood now about uh, college basketball, Just nothing get matters. get in the playoffs, but, yeah. see what happens. But nothing matters yep. how you do in the tournament. Caitlin Clark, yep. I just want to leave you with this. And you have to be old. She is Larry Bird, and the women's championship game will never equal that rating for the next 40 years, as the men's have never in a championship game equaled the rating of Larry Bird, even in Magic Johnson to this day. And mm-hmm. I believe it was 40. And they probably never will be broken. But uh, So the greatness of women's basketball is Caitlin Clark. They'll all benefit, but don't hold other years down because they didn't match this. She transcended Homer, you the- can use this. you can use this line on your show, and I'll par- yeah. you can part with this. The ceiling has been set, and the floor has been risen. Raised. Heard it both ways. No. <laughs> wow, that's good. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? No, I said I'm no, a judge. Really good. Talent. These guys I'm are haters. That's really I good. I liked it. By the no, way, they're and haters. I'll tell you this, that's all right. I'm I've been dealing with this for a couple my, months. To doing my faith. What? Um, my faith is next. That's why I have to leave. C. Yep. C. Winans is a, a lady, a gospel singer. Yeah. Has the greatest. The greatest. Christian song ever, and if it's not, people send me a better one. The goodness of God, you got to listen to it. A hundred million it, people have listened to it in like a year or two. Mm. It's the best ever. And she's and the guest proof. on God Talk. No, of course not. No, no, oh. no. But I just thought it would fit, given I have to leave. No, I never know who the guest is half the time because Pip does all that. He likes people, and he always so, does somebody. Sounds like CC uh, Winans should be the next guest, though. What do you? Yes, get on that. We're not important enough to get her. Come on. Well, maybe you can't get Tausch either. So how should Paul and say, "I won't do it, but maybe you will." Okay, I'm sure he has CC Winans in his Rolodex. All right, yeah. Homer, great. have a great uh, taping. God, you have to. It's so good. Praise bye, the bye. Lord. Bye. That is Steve, the Homer True. Uh, Tausch, I know you got a lot on your plate these days with uh, great quotes like "the ceiling has been raised and the floor is risen." Um, but you also has have to risen. has been raised. Is yeah, well, I've yeah. heard it both ways. I have too. Uh, I've also heard that you're going to be joining the Johnson and Sons Paving team, so people better get their entries in ASAP. The mm, clock is ticking. You better. Who wants a visit with old T? Well, if you're not Jason, I hope a lot of ears are perked up. Johnson Sons Paving invited me out to one of their job sites this summer, and that could be with your business. Book an appointment before May 31st, and you'll see old T out there. And I don't know. I might bring my crew. I might bring Maddie and, J- and Jesse with me. The video of that bad boy. Johnson Sons Paving has over two decades of experience and is ready for the challenge this winter with the winter that has just been left. We all know what's coming. It's about to be pothole season. Drive down, you see potholes everywhere. Sounds like a job for old T to just shovel the asphalt down there, level that bad boy out, and get your car rolling. Get the impact asphalt areas patched up or completely replaced with Johnson & Sons Paving. Visit johnsonandsonspaving.com today, and I'll make sure I have my hard hat ready to roll. More next. It's Wilde and Tausch. Uncle Homer on Wilde and Tausch is brought to you by Johnson and Sons Paving. Potholes are a pain when they pop up in your asphalt. Johnson and Sons Paving can patch or replace the whole lot. Book an appointment now at johnsonandsonspaving.com. 
Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with over 3 million active members. All you do is pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. You can win now up to 100 times your money on Prize Picks with as little as four correct picks. You can turn 10 bucks into 1,000 with basketball, hockey, and baseball entries today. Prize Picks even offers injury insurance so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and doesn't return in the second, Prize Picks will have your back and not count that as a loss. Prize Picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. Prize Picks also offers weekly promotions and special offers for the biggest moments in sports. Download the app today and use code WI for a first deposit match of up to 100 bucks. That's code WI on Prize Picks for a deposit match up to a hundred dollars. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. You ra ra. Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin present your Badger Minute. Here's Alex Strofe. This Badger Minute brought to you by Stoughton Trailers. Big trailers and big opportunity at Stoughton Trailers. Learn more about why a career at Stoughton Trailers might be for you. Go to stojobs.com. Another week and another entry into the transfer portal from the Wisconsin men's basketball team. Junior guard Isaac Lindsay from Mineral Point High School entered the transfer portal on Tuesday. Lindsay began his college career in the 2020-2021 season as a redshirt freshman at UNLV before transferring to Wisconsin the next year. He appeared in 16 games this season for the Badgers. Lindsay now marks the fourth scholarship player to enter the portal for the Badgers, joining A.J. Storr, Connor Sejan, and Gus Yaldin. Get 0% interest for up to 36 months or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months. Book before April 30th at PellaWI.com. When it comes to security for your home and family, you want a winner, and we found one when we placed our trust with J&K Security Solutions. This is Greg Gard. Kim and Jeff hit the game-winning shot for us with the Control 4 Home Technology System. Home or away from our smartphones, we can open the garage door, dim the lights, turn on the TV, as well as arm the security system. That's convenience as well as peace of mind. Let J&K Security Solutions do for your home or business like they've done for us. Call 255-5799 or online at jksecurity.com. If you're looking for a special piece of jewelry for any occasion, Condon Jewelers is always there for you. Condon Jewelers has the best selection of jewelry you'll ever find and guaranteed to have the lowest prices in the Madison area. Free shipping is always available. Visit CondonJeweler.com or call 241-3406 and ask for Jim, the owner, who's at the store every day. Shop locally. Condon Jewelers, the jeweler on the east side, the jeweler on your side. What is a better buying experience? Well, you're minutes away from a better buying experience at Simden Chevy in Mount Horeb. Jim Rutledge here. To me, a better buying experience is a personal experience. That's what Dan and his sales team have set up at Simden Chevy in Mount Horeb. You're going to have the experience that you're looking for. You're going to define what that better buying experience is for you, and they're going to get you in the vehicle that you need and that you want, whether it's new or new to you. So when you're looking for a better buying experience, go to Simden Chevy in Mount Horeb. Our kids deserve the best we can give them. Hi, this is Sarah Tauscher. If you're looking for somewhere that kids can learn, play, and enjoy family fun all at once, then register today in one of the spring youth programs at the Prairie Athletic Club with six basketball courts, a full-size indoor soccer field, and swim lessons at one of the five indoor pools. They've got it all. Join today or visit as a guest and discover why the pack is consistently voted the best place to work out and best thing for kids to do year after year. Visit prairieathletic.com. Prairie Athletic Club, family fun community. On the air, on demand, on social, on Wisconsin sports. Serving Wisconsin sports fans. This is 100.5 ESPN. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in darkest night. Jesse, so this is the C.C. Winans song that Homer referred to? Yeah, it's kind of slow, got to admit. He's the greatest ever. I thought we'd be I'm, a little that's more. That's what we were uh, told. Yes. A little upbeat. Um, it, it, but it, it, it is uh, future God talk. My faith with Homer and Pip guest, CC Winans, bringing us back. Uh, Tausch, when you listen to Homer talking about the Packers there, and you asked him the question about winning the division, um, 
the biggest thing is your path to the NFC Championship game becomes easier because even if you don't have the number one seed and get the buy, you still are assured at least one home game and maybe multiple home games, which makes your path easier. So that's crucial for this team, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously I have been the biggest advocate for the number one seed and the buy and everything else, and I'd be interested, Jesse, I know you're a stat guy. The Packers have not got it done when they've been the one seed. Kansas City Chiefs, I believe, every time except for the time New England went except in there one time. with Tom Brady. Offsides. I think they've gotten it done every time. Now, Cincinnati beat them as well. So, for as much as we can sit here and say that it's crucial, I firmly believe that it's about being hot at the right time. It's about being healthy. And why I was as disappointed last year, it wasn't that – I anticipated this team in October and November that they were going to be world champs. I right. didn't. But when it got to be end of December and the way this team was playing and the way they were getting healthy and the way Jordan Love was playing, I started thinking they could. And then the way they dismantled Dallas and had the best team in the league on the ropes at their place with a chance to go to Detroit and beat them to go to a championship. Again, man, it's – it's great to say, well, we grew, and you're going to learn these lessons. As these guys are going to find out when they start their workouts next week. You're back down at the base, man. You are up to about, you know, three-quarters to seven-eighths of the way up Everest. And the San Francisco 49ers with that pick kicked you back down, and you're rumbling through all the garbage, and you're tumbling down, and uh, – it's a long road back down, and then you got to roll your eyes back up and look and think, "Whew! I got to train. I got to work. I got to do all this. I got to put my little things back in my shoes. I got to get my ice pick out. I got to start climbing again to get there. And along the way, I'm going to slip and I'm going to fall. And do I have the mental fortitude to get back up and climb again? That's what these NFL seasons are." There's nothing given. There ain't no helicopter rides to the top of that mountain. You got to earn it. And it's base camp. It's all of the things that people that have climbed and been done, they'll tell you. It ain't easy. And when you get close, you want it that much more. And sometimes, as Dick Bennett said, you squeeze too hard. That's not a good thing either. So it's... It's great that this is a young team. It's great that they have all this youth and vigor and all of this stuff. That is awesome. But they're going to get to Lambeau next week, and they're going to be looking up, and they're going to be thinking, whew, that's a long haul. Let's get to work. We'll talk more about the Packers as they do get ready to kick off their off-season program on Monday, and then they will kick off the regular season in Brazil confirmed today by the NFL, made official what we suspected yesterday after our conversation with Mark Murphy before the tailgate tour. They will kick off the season Friday, September 6th in Sao Paulo, Brazil against the Philadelphia Eagles. We'll talk more about that when we kick off the 11 o'clock hour, which will start in two minutes. Uh, we got to see Drew Holiday yesterday. We got to see some of our friends from the Bucks organization yesterday. And Sid and I also got to see David Gruber, who was at the game. Gruber loves his one call. That's all. He's been a great friend to us and a friend to the community and to those who have suffered serious injuries and accidents. Hopefully you never need his expertise. But if you do, one call, that's all. 414-276-6666, 414-276-6666, or go to gruber law Dot com. Find out more about the firm. Find out more about their lawyers. Find out about all the things that they do in the community. David pops up on the Jumbotron. Really tiny little David in the corner whenever the Bucks make a three to let you know that the T-shirt crew is coming. Gruber-Law.com. The 11 o'clock hour starts in two minutes. It's Wilde and Tausch. Don't go anywhere. Another hour of Wilde and Tausch, presented by Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin, is coming up next on ESPN Wisconsin, the ESPN app, and Wisconsin On Demand. 
Mark Tauscher here to tell you a little bit more about Everlight Solar. We all know that electricity costs are on the rise. That's why you need to talk to my friends over at Everlight Solar. Their local team here in Madison is here to keep it simple. From your no-cost consultation to solar panel installation, the team at Everlight Solar will be with you every step of the way. Not only will they help you save money, but by switching to solar, you're also helping save the planet. Everlight Solar, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Check them out at everlightsolar.com. This is Derek Engler. You're listening to a Good Karma Brands radio station, 100.5 ESPN, WTLX, Monona, Madison. Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studio, this is your Metro Kia of Madison Sports Center. Good morning, Madison and streamers everywhere. I'm Jesse Nelson. Sports Center brought to you by A Banner Year, celebrating the 10-year anniversary of the first of the back-to-back Final Four appearances for Wisconsin men's basketball. All four episode podcasts, including Hall of Famer Bo Ryan, now available. Subscribe to the Varsity Podcast on Apple, Spotify, and Wisconsin On Demand. Breaking news on 100.5 ESPN is brought to you by Metro Kia on the east side of Madison. And there's plenty of it to go around this morning. First, ESPN NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski sharing that an MRI shows that Giannis Antetokounmpo's left Achilles tendon is fully intact and his return to play will come with how quickly his left calf strain heals. Woj tweets that this morning after Giannis left last night's Bucks win over the Celtics in the third quarter with a non-contact injury, some feared the worst. It appears that Giannis will have a path to recovery for the Bucks' postseason run, which begins in a little less than two weeks. Eric Name of The Athletic joined Willie and Tausch earlier today. If you missed any of his insight, find it on Wisconsin On Demand and on the ESPN Madison YouTube channel. Also, the Green Bay Packers are heading to Brazil for the season opener September 6th against the Eagles. Metro Kia of Madison, Madison's trusted Kia dealer. Stop into Metro Kia on the east side of Madison or MetroKiaOfMadison.com. Of Wilde and Tausch. Begins now. And I want to go back to the Brazil game. Because I asked for your texts and we got a ton of them. And then we obviously had a lot of other things that we discussed instead. Are folks, what did Homer say? That it would be a stupid opinion if you're not happy about this development as a fan? Right? He didn't want to call people stupid. No, um, he called people stupid. Well, that's what I thought, too, right? That's, I didn't think I misheard that. The point being, it is, it's an inconvenience, but it's an inconvenience for the Eagles also. And the Eagles are the ones that are losing a home game against an NFC playoff contender like themselves, which could have been played in December when it would be a crucial tipping point game between are you going to be uh, the top seed or not? Are you going to have home field advantage or not if you face each other? All those types of things. Jesse, are our Packers fans seeing it the same way, or are there some stupid opinions, as Homer might say? I think most are intrigued. There, so a few of these texts we've already shown throughout the show on the video stream for those who have been avidly watching. I'll get a couple of them here. RJ in Atlanta, I like the chance to play week one overseas. Gives teams time to prepare. Hopefully this time Matt has better attitude about playing international and gets his players mentally ready to play. So RJ's all in yeah, favor. Yeah, he will. He definitely will. Yeah, uh, hard to imagine him not, given how the yeah, last Yeah, and the timing went. of this, I, I think it's always a big challenge to go over and play Lo- in London or in you know Germany or Mexico City, wherever it would be. When you're doing it in October, November, you're kind of grinding through a season. In all fairness, when you get through training camp, you're looking to go do something. Like, training camp is long. You get to prep and plan and look forward to this. And you're going to look at this as, you know, coaches look at things in quarters. Now that there's 17 weeks, they don't. I would guess Matt LaFour will say this is the first quarter of the season, this game. Boom. 
all of our efforts, all of our energy is put in here, and then we'll reset into that next uh, stretch, depending on how the schedule goes. I would assume it will be a home game on either that Sunday or Monday mm-hmm. to give you the most amount of time to regroup. But this is a great opportunity to really focus. And in training camp, when things get monotonous and things get a little bit mundane, you have this little trinket. You know, when you're sitting there in the middle of winter and you schedule a trip to Mexico because it's warm, you, you kind of are like counting down the days and doing that. This is your spring break. This is your little trinket to motivate you through what are usually cold, dark, dreary months, which training camp, while it's hot and warm, they do get monotonous. Jesse, what else do you have from texts? Spring break. You got no response to all of that great insight? You got nothing for me? Yeah. Like, that was really – I thought – you know, I say a lot of stuff, and you give me grief all the time that I don't ask you enough questions – I just go on a great ra- and then I do the whole Mount Everest thing. You got nothing. Anytime and you, I do this, anytime, you got nothing. When you're doing an like, analogy, what are we doing here? And you have to say it's like this, except it's the exact opposite. It's not as believable of an analogy as some of your. What other is ones. the exact opposite? He's, it's like when you're in the dark, dreary, cold months of January and February. That's what training camp is, except it's hot and sunny in July and August. Yeah. It's the exact same thing. Uh, I thought you were... When, you're, when you uh, have to grind through something and you have a little trinket out there for you to look forward to, you don't think people do that in their life? Isn't a trinket also like a souvenir? Yeah, I think he's looking for carrot there. Like a keychain? A carrot. It's a carrot. Um, look. I got a little mini I, basketball. I, I, I didn't... I, I, I don't find you to be... What um, else you got, Jesse? I don't what else find, you got, Jesse? I don't, I don't find you to be insecure in any way. You're a very confident fellow. I thought that stood on its own, and with the clock at 11.50. You have nothing to add to it? What, it if I come back from clock, a vacation, uh, and all I hear is, oh, boy, it's nice when people ask me questions, or I get to chime in. Not, I got uh, people first emailing all, me, too all. much Tausch. He talks too much. So I leave wait, this, I got, leave wait it. Wait a minute. Instead Whoa, of Jason saying, stop, what? No, no, let stop, me finish. No, let no. me finish, and then you go. Oh. So instead, I go, and I leave it open-ended for Jason to chime in and say, yeah, you know what, that's a good point, because training camp does get monotonous. Guys want to get out of the dorms. They want to do this. And instead, you just go, all right, Jesse, what's next? All right, first of all. I can't I, win. Uh, for, no, you can uh, first of all, I can't believe you've got emails from people saying you talk too much because they're definitely not from Oh, me. I got multiple. Oh, I interrupt you and all uh, that. And, and I don't mind any uh, of it. That's yeah, fine. Good. I, I'm glad I you enjoy don't. Criticism. I like you're interrupting me now. Uh, look, first of all, good. let me be very clear about the dynamic of the program. Okay? Tausch is the straw that stirs the drink. I have no problem with my rule. I don't have any problem inter- with him interrupting. Do I occasionally get irritated at being accused of being a poor clock manager when what I really am is a poor Tausch manager. Maybe. But I don't want to manage Tausch. The dynamic of the show is let Tausch be Tausch. We'll figure everything else out. That said, what there is got, never Jesse? a case where he talks too much. Uh, the pro- the well, never, worst, never the worst never. shows the worst shows are the ones where he's not talking as much. Secondly, it is a different dynamic when you're not here. And, yes, the other co-hosts, the cousin subs of the day, occasionally do ask me questions. I get plenty of opportunities on other programs. It's why we play Where's Wildy, where they ask me questions. I don't need you to ask me questions. In fairness, when I ask you questions, you refuse to answer, and you only ask questions, too. No, that's like, not that's true. Another that's part not, of the dynamic. That's not true. But, and, uh, and, no. and finally, if I may now, without you interrupting, I thought your analogy was good. I was looking at the clock. I thought it stood on its own. It did not need further discussion what from me. So I wanted what to get to got, a couple Jesse? more texts before it was time for trivia. That's all. What else you got, Jesse? That's it. Okay. That's all. What else you got? What, else what you got, an outstanding <laughs> analogy. It uh, really so is. Good. The grind of training <laughs> oh, camp man. is so brutal. Just they like now the have a trip to January. Brazil to look forward to. Well, I uh, just yeah. piled two, some of the best analogies about this Packer team but you in just the last 20 minutes them of this show. Across your desk? I just put them out there. They're great. And I got nothing in response other than, 
All right, Jesse, what did what did uh, Jerry Odd from Canton say? Like, that was basically what we heard. Chad and Marinette. Which is fine. I love hearing from Jerry Odd. I want the team to focus on winning a Super Bowl, not on damn travel plans to another country. So, hey, you know what, Chad? That's an interesting point. And what I'm going to tell you is, do you remember that movie uh, with Denzel Washington? What is it called, the football movie? What's remember the, the Titans. Denzel? Forget the Titans. You remember? <laughs> do you remember? Remember the Titans. <laughs> so, what did they do when they were fighting and they were trying to build their team up? What did they go and do? I'm glad. I appreciate your laugh, <laughs> Jesse. I don't, I don't remember. What did they do? <laughs> they, you know, they, no. they, they they had training camp in some far off place. So they could bond as a team, but then they came and back they to went school and, ran and to there Gettysburg. were more racial they, issues. Yeah. They did a big trip to kind of unify themselves, and mm -hmm. that helped turn the team around. And it got you know a lot of stuff moving in the right direction. So for a young football team that's trying to grow, you're doing all these team building activities. You're doing paintball. You're doing golf. What's a better team building activity than a ten hour flight to Sao Paulo? Playing euchre, throwing spades, uh, boo ray, a bunch of different games, backgammon, whatever else you're doing, and then it's just you and your crew for a couple of days. That's how you build that chemistry. So you can look at it and say, just win a damn Super Bowl. Yeah, no doubt. That's what we're all hoping for. This can be a springboard for that if you go into it with the right attitude. Um, if 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 I may, since you didn't feel like you got sufficient, what else? You, <laughs> what else you got, Jesse? I knew Feedback that was coming. <laughs> earlier. Um, is is this in fact? Now that I stop to think about it some more, is this a great carrot for players? Like I don't know what the dynamic is for this road trip either. Like, when you guys would play, I know you didn't play any international games, right? But you go to New York, you go wherever uh, to for a road game. Was that, like, did you as a player get excited? It's not like you guys had time to go check out a Broadway musical when you played the Jets or the Giants, no, right? but you so, learned, so we went, did the 9-11 deal, uh, got to see that. There is time, but it's not like a bowl game where you have a week. Right. Or I don't know how many days they're going to go down. But ask any coach or player. It's great to win home games at Lambeau. You know what? That's expected. How do you form your team, and how do you find out what you're all about? Some of my favorite victories are up in that stinky old Metrodome. The day before Christmas when we came back after Brett threw that pick and we came back and found a way to win. Probably the best locker room ever. One of the first times that I thought, man, I really miss the NFL was when Matt Flynn brought the Packers back from that Cowboys game. Yeah. I was thinking, watching that, doing the postgame show, thinking, man, I wish I was on that flight and in that locker room. Because that's when you find out what you're all about. It's just you and your crew. Mm -hmm. That's how you find it. And going to Sao Paulo, yeah, it's going to be a pain in the butt for some log logistical things. But there is a real opportunity to grow and to do some things, too that if you go into it with the right approach, it can be a big positive. Jesse, what else you got on the text line? <laughs> Anything else, Jesse? John of Menominee Falls. Mark Murphy should tell the NFL that he's willing to play in Germany as long as the NFL is willing to give a Super Bowl appearance to Lambeau Field. Yeah, it's never going to happen, John. There's never going to be a Super Bowl at Lambeau. Let me, let me ask you this. Just, let me ask you the flip side of that. Let's NFC championship game at sure. Lambeau. Let's, Let get, me let's ask, get an NFC championship game back here. Those don't tend to go well. Not recently. Uh, let me ask you the flip side of this. Is it possible that Roger Goodell said, uh, we gave you the draft, you're going to Brazil? Like, well, you're they would talking have had to have done that earlier. They would Because you know how power struggles work. I don't, actually. You I've don't, never been part of one. You don't... You don't AKA, if you want to use the term blackmail, or if you want to talk about coercion, extortion, whatever, whatever word you want to use, it's leverage is uh -huh. the nice way to put it. Uh huh. You don't do that unless you say, "All right, here's the deal: you're going to Brazil, or you're not getting the draft." You don't give them the draft, and then six months later, saying, "Well, 
what are you going to re- take the draft away from them? That's no. not very good extortion. No, you're saying we gave you the draft. We decide who's playing in Brazil. You're playing in Brazil. I don't care how short your runways are. That's yeah, what I'm the saying. The NFL will eventually shove down your throat what they want. I think that the Packers fought enough, and I'm hoping Mark Murphy was able to secure no more home games being shipped overseas for the foreseeable future. Uh, I I have to think that the best-case scenario for the Packers is a Monday night home game in Week 2. Sure. Perhaps against a less-than-outstanding team entering the season. We'll see. What they're if if they did get concessions by agreeing to this, I'd be curious to see what they are. And it's hard to say, You'll but I, find out. I will. Well, maybe I maybe somebody will let the cat out of the bag. The bottom line is, Packers are now playing w- nine home games. They're playing one game in Brazil, which, based on the opinion of Mark Murphy and others, is going to be like a home game. Because Brazil's most popular Packers, or most popular team, is the Packers. And apparently when Tom Brady and Giselle were together, it was the Patriots. Apparently they like green and gold. They're not together anymore, and he's not the quarterback of the Patriots. So maybe 10 home games and seven road games out of 17. That's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, We need to get to trivia. It is Wednesday. It is Wisconsin Geography Wednesday. Uh, Jesse was touting the quality of these questions earlier. They have arrived in my inbox mm-hmm. now. One of these questions might be one of my favorite Wisconsin geography questions we've asked. Yeah. We'll Probably see how it plays out. Era, I'm guessing. It's just the, the driftless, driftless area. Uh, call, call, <laughs> call it call, call her 10, 844. What else, what else so, you got for me, Jesse? Call her 10. I can't believe you're so – I'm the sensitive one on this show. You, you you feel like I snubbed your great analogy? You won't let it go. No, it wasn't that you snubbed it. You had nothing. Like, oh, that's I, interesting. And now it it's was, 1125, and we haven't even got, played Jesse? trivia yet. We are still in the first segment of the hour. You wonder what I'm doing oh. here? That's what I'm doing here. Call her 10. Got, yeah. Oh, oh. Hey, can you get your Fortria read ready while you're complaining about me not reacting oh, to your ready. great analogy? I just analogy. thought the analogy was subpar. That's <laughs> Jesse. Poke the bear. Go right ahead. There's only 35 minutes left. Caller 10, 844-770-3776. Caller 10, 844-770-3776. You will play trivia after Tausch tells us about Fortria. Yeah, we just saw if you want to get to Brazil. Looking for a little spending cash to get to that Packer game? Fortree has got you covered. A couple of studies to grab you a little extra cash. Healthy men and women, non-childbearing potential, BMI of 18.5 to 30. Study one stay of 11 nights with a couple follow-up visits. 5302 bucks for your time and participation. Another study, healthy males and females of non-childbearing potential, ages 18 to 65, BMI of 18 to 35. This study is one stay of four nights with a three follow-up visits, forty-four hundred and thirty bucks for your time and participation. Go to FortriaClinicalTrials.com. That's Fortria, F-O-R-T-R-E-A, ClinicalTrials.com. Trivia is next. It's Wilde and Tausch. This is Wilde and Tausch, presented by Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Call Gina Della from Pella today, eight five five Pella W I, and online at pellawi.com slash radio. Hi, I'm Medicine Money Guy, Christian Finfrock with Retirement Income Strategies. And what sets us apart is we're an independent, family-run office. We help clients like you understand the financial world and build a portfolio that's in your best interest. To learn more, go to madisonmoneyguy.com. Since J&K Security Solutions opened in 1987, our attention to detail and customer service have been our strongest assets. I'm President Jeffrey Beckman. We'll always do our best to find the most efficient and cost-effective solution to every job we tackle. Whether it's security for your home or business, installing video surveillance, or being able to control your garage doors from your phone, we can help you feel empowered with simple and user-friendly technology. Let's work together to secure your home or business. JKSecurity.com. Mark Tosha here for Chalmers Jewelers. I've been a big fan of Scott and Garrett and the whole team at Chalmers Jewelers for years now. I go there, my friends go there, and most importantly, my wife loves it whenever I get her something from Chalmers Jewelers. What's right around the corner? Mother's Day. Show some love to the incredible women in your life and stop at Chalmers Jewelers. The place to go for that perfect gift. 
I recommend Chalmers Jewelers in Middleton and Madison. Chalmers Jewelers in Middleton and Madison. Your Honda gets you everywhere. When it needs service, you need Zimbrick Honda Service. Their customer service is second to none, and you can experience it yourself at two convenient Madison locations on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Honda certified technicians handle it all. You can even get flexible payment options. Fix your car now and pay later. Apply online to see your options in seconds with no hard credit check. Make your service appointment online at ZimbrickHonda.com. Zimbrick Honda Service Center on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Part of the Madison community since 1973. Shop Zimbrick Honda. Ben Brust here to tell you about the Princeton Club. I joined the Princeton Club because I was looking for a place I could invest in my health, and the environment and the community I have felt has made it so easy for me to incorporate it into my everyday life. It doesn't matter where you're at in your fitness journey because they have something to offer everyone. It also goes beyond fitness. From the moment you walk in the club to the moment you walk out, there is a togetherness felt throughout the members and staff that keeps you going for your better tomorrow. Don't wait any longer and get started on your fitness journey today at PrincetonClub.net. That's PrincetonClub.net. Searching for the perfect brunch spot this weekend? Look no further than the Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company. Every Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., indulge in the Great Dane's sweet and savory brunch menu paired with mimosas, Bloody Marys, or one of their signature beers on tap. Enjoy at any of their four Madison area pubs, downtown, Hilldale, Fitchburg, or East Madison. Learn more and view the full menu at greatdanepub.com slash brunch. Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company, Madison's original brew pub since 1994. The biggest names in the basketball world. Dane Dollar Lillard. Having fun and honest conversations. He puts it in the shoe, right? And sets the tone for brothers and sisters and family. Every week, Thanasis Adetokounmpo sits down with special guests on The Analysis Show. Presented by Potawatomi Casino Hotel. And curbless, ready-to-drink cocktails. Thanasis. Find The Analysis Show on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. And on YouTube by searching The Analysis Show. There's a good chance if you watch sports, you're getting served information about hormone optimization. What does that even mean? Dr. Nestor Rodriguez at Carbon World Health can tell you exactly what hormone optimization means. He will take your blood work and let you know if it's right for you. If you're feeling sluggish, not losing weight like you used to, you're not gaining muscle like you used to, or you just don't feel like yourself in most aspects of your life, go see Dr. Nestor Rodriguez at Carbon World Health. In fact, sign up for the six-week experience so you can see everything that Carbon World Health has to offer, including hormone optimization. Learn more at CarbonWorldHealth.com. For official rules and more information about every contest on 100.5 ESPN, visit ESPNWisconsinContest.com. That's ESPNWisconsinContest.com. You're listening to 100.5 ESPN and the ESPN app. Will the Intouch on 100.5 ESPN is brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. Everlight Solar. I'm not afraid of getting What else you got, Jesse? Time now for trivia. Let's welcome in our contestant. It is Juan in Madison. Juan, how you doing today? I'm doing great. How you guys doing? Um, well, I'll see if the advanced billing of this trivia lives up to uh, expectations. I hope you get all three right. Every time Jesse raises my expectations for something, I usually get let down. The one exception in recent memory was the mystery voicemail that turned out to be from Mel Kuyper last week, and that more yeah, than that lived up. Good. That was amazing. So let's get these right. Tausch will sort of but not really help you on. Question number one in Wisconsin Geography Wednesday trivia is this. Which Wisconsin city and stop on the Packers 2024 tailgate tour is home to the minor league baseball team known as the Sky Carp. Is it Beloit, Mequon, or Chippewa Falls? We gotta get the Chippewa Falls. Mequon? I think I'm gonna go Beloit. <laughs> Very helpful, yeah. Uh, yes, Mequon, <laughs> the home... Uh, to a Midwest... Uh, Northwoods League. The Northwoods yeah, League. Lakeshore yes. Chinooks. The Chinooks. That's exactly what I was looking for. All right. So, 
We're off to a strong start, Juan. Let's try question two. Which upcoming stop on the Packers tailgate tour this year was also the home for a number of preseason Wisconsin Badgers football practices last summer? Is it Sun Prairie, Platteville, or Kenosha? Platteville. Nailed it. Bouncing back. Uh, were either of these your uh, most highly regarded questions? Uh, no, this one is my favorite question. Wildy, I think you got to worry about fire hazard under your Oregon clock there. That is an inordinate amount of things plugged into one outlet. That's all, yeah, it's a lot of plugs, and that's a very that's bright a lot. lamp. And first off, what the hell do you have all that? Like, What are you all plugged into? Uh, that's a lot. First of all, thanks for noticing. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, it, I've got it is a it is a surge protector. It's designed to have those things plugged in. It's not like it's not like they're all plugged into just one outlet. They're plugged into the surge protector, which is designed for handling that sort of a load. Um, we've been doing this show from my basement studio for how Your long? Your angle's this different. Than it's a little usual. bit of a I've different never angle. Seen this yep. before. Slightly it's totally the, different. Angle. It's the exa- the 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 no, iPad I use has not, not moved in uh, years. It's different. There's something it's different. 100% different. All right, Juan doesn't care about this, so get to Juan. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm else not sure anybody Jason. <laughs> what did I say about Tausch? Uh, all right, question three, Juan. Let's get this one, all right? So you noticed the theme so far. All right. Tailgate tour. Yeah, very clever. Keep that in mind for question three. All right, question three, Juan. As I recheck my plugs. <laughs> Longitudinally! Which of these Wisconsin counties extends its boundaries farthest east? Farthest east. Extending its boundaries as a county in Wisconsin. Is it Green County? Clark County or Brian Blaga, Iowa County. <laughs> oversold. <laughs> Completely A-O-B. oversold. Which one did you go with? B. I'm going to say Green County. Uh, Clark County is incorrect. Iowa County would also be incorrect. Tausch is right. It is Green County. I gotta be honest. Uh, Alex Green, Kenny Clark, Brian Bulaga, Iowa are on the tailgate tour. No, that sucked. That sucked. (laughs) What else you got, Jesse? (laughs) Um, Juan, I'm sorry, buddy. You should apologize. Apologize to Juan. Yes, that, Jesse. That was. I'm brutal. sorry, Juan. It wasn't entertaining. <laughs> it was. I probably wasn't it was informative. He's laughing. It must no. have been entertaining Extends somehow. Extends no, its <laughs> boundaries. He's trying to be nice. I guess I, I could have gone reaches. Convoluted. Reaches would have been a little totally. more precise. Yeah. Tausch loves and counties. You thought my though. analogies were bad. That was brutal. And now you're lashing sucks. out. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> he, he is lashing out. <laughs> Very fair. Juan, you got one right. You got two entries into Friday's drawing. Uh, that doesn't mean that you can't win, but it would be ideal to have more entries. Thanks for playing, buddy. We appreciate your loyalty to the show. Uh, thank you, guys. You can you can hear the disappointment in Juan's voice. Yeah. Uh, well, I think he was anticipating, even if he got it wrong. Oh, this is going to be fun. Some good laughs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't fun. And that's what you came up with. Like I I I recognized what you were going for, but then should I have stepped in and said? I didn't recognize Alex it at all. Green County. Mm. That would have been funnier. And it's Kenny not in Clark there. County. And I didn't, Clark, right. Yeah. And, and, and Bulaga's last name is in Iowa. Is in a county. So, well, it might right, as well it's not be. Bulaga County. Brian Bulaga, Iowa. If Ryan That's... Grant was on the tailgate tour, you could have went Ryan Grant County. Right. Is there a, a Jenkins option. County? 
Walker uh, County? Have we had anybody? Wood? Jeremy Wood County. Like, uh, there's all that. Let's find out how many Frankie Packers Portage. players. <laughs> Frank Frankie Portage. Frankie Portage County. <laughs> Well, all I know is, uh, as Wisconsin's bank, Associated Bank, has locations pretty much in every county, uh, except maybe Kenny Clark County or Brian Bulaga County, which doesn't exist. Uh, But all of those guys are current or former Packers, and if you're a Packers fan, there's no better place to be than Associated Bank. So go to AssociatedBank.com slash Packers to find out more about Packers checking Get your 10% off discount at the Packers Pro Shop in-store and online. Get your Packers Debit MasterCard and get the great customer service that comes with being an Associated Bank customer. AssociatedBank.com slash Packers. Now I got someone texting in, a Chinook is not a flying carp. It's a species of salmon. A misleading question. You just heard yeah, it wrong. Fish. Yeah, that we're not talking about. Yeah. The, the Chinooks are in Mequon. The Sky Carp are in Beloit. Totally different things. <laughs> now, now who's lashing out? <laughs> Jesse, your questions sucked. They like, didn't just t- su- take they ownership. Didn't suck. Of. They were all on. They were all. First of all, they were all accurate questions. So we got that going for us. We There's think been a long- we don't even know that for sure. Look at I got Wildy now with Smokey the Bear over there, thinking <laughs> that his place is going to burn, <laughs> knocking stuff down. We need to get to Woe Nelly. That's next before the place burns down. It's Wildy and Tausch. This is Wildy and Tausch, driven by Zimbrick Chevrolet in Sun Prairie on 100.5 ESPN. See their full inventory at ZimbrickChevrolet.com. Mark Tauscher here to tell you a little bit more about Everlight Solar. We all know that electricity costs are on the rise. That's why you need to talk to my friends over at Everlight Solar. Their local team here in Madison is here to keep it simple. From your no-cost consultation to solar panel installation, the team at Everlight Solar will be with you every step of the way. Not only will they help you save money, but by switching to solar, you're also helping save the planet. Everlight Solar, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Check them out at everlightsolar.com. From the biggest plays on the court to the comments made in the locker room after an in-depth recap of every Bucks game in six minutes. No more, no less. Bucks in six provides game recaps for every game. Hear the high-flying dunks from Giannis. Puts it on the floor, spins down the lane, and plunges it through. Or the deep threes from Dane. Dane time has arrived with 107. Bucks in six on the Bucks Plus Audio Network. Find it now on bucks.com slash plus or on Spotify, Apple, and wherever you get your podcasts. To those who've ever dreamt of their perfect event, those dreams are worthy and they are possible. Hi, it's Jeffrey from Celebrations Entertainment. With hard work, passion, and great music, we will make your event dreams a reality. Every event is a labor of love with one-on-one planning, customization, and flawless execution. Bringing your event to life is what we do. For a fun, memorable event, visit celebrationsentertainment.com. That's celebrationsentertainment.com. Ben Bruss here to tell you about Zimbrick European. They have Mercedes, Audi, Porsche, and certified pre-owns. But the best part is I've been working with them since 2018, and the evolution has been a two-door, a four-door, and now it's time for an SUV. My life has changed, and it's changed with Zimbrick European. Being a dad has made it really important to have the comfort and the safety that the SUV will bring me. Again, Zimbrick European off the belt line at Rimrock Road. Of course, I found the sexiest car on the lot. Check them out. What does it take to make a diamond? Extreme heat and pressure and about a billion years. But you can't wait that long. What do you do? You go to Goodman's Jewelers. I'm John Hayes from Goodman's Jewelers. There's a reason we are the Diamond Store of Madison. Since 1933, we've provided outstanding service and selection to our customers. And that in turn has helped to establish countless great memories through the years. Goodman'sJewelers.com, located at 220 State Street. Truly a destination worth reaching. The Packers Tailgate Tour is coming to Sun Prairie on Friday, April 12th to help support Sunshine Place, a nonprofit community resources center dedicated to household stability in Sun Prairie and Eastern Dane County. Sunshine Place provides meals, clothing, and living supplies along with a wide array of social and community services to community members facing food insecurity and other hardships. Join the Packers Tailgate Tour in supporting Sunshine Place of Sun Prairie and Dane County. Visit sunshineplace.org to learn more. 
Join Prairie Athletic Club and spring forward your membership today. Hi, this is Sarah Tauscher encouraging you to save now until the end of August when you join the pack. The Platinum membership is everything you want and more, including Pilates, hot yoga, bar, unlimited training zone, and boot camp classes. Discover the ultimate wellness experience tailored just for you. Not a member? Not a problem. Guests are welcome daily. Head to prairieathletic.com or stop in today for all their membership specials. Prairie Athletic Club, family fun community. Mark your calendars and get ready for game day at the 5th Annual Easter Seals Wisconsin Celebrity Basketball Experience, presented by Affiliated Dentists. Former UW athletes hit the hardwood on April 13th at Madison College to support children and adults with disabilities. Tip-off is at 3 p.m. And for some pregame action, be sure to register your kids grades 3 through 8 at the Shot Doctor Skills Academy from 1 to 2.30 with former UW men's basketball assistant coach Gary Close. All abilities welcome to register. Visit easterseals.com slash game day for more details. Watch every ESPN Madison show live every day. Subscribe to ESPN Madison on YouTube for live video of every show and exclusive content. Just search ESPN Madison. Trivia was an unmitigated disappointment. Let's see if Wonelli is too. If the topic is good, the guys discuss. Just the other morning I had breakfast at Tracy Rocker's house. His mama brought out 15 flapjacks. He said, Mama, take back five of them flapjacks. I gotta stay hungry for the Crimson Tide. But if it's not, the show must go on. It's time for Wonelli on Wildy and Tausch. Could consider a rebrand of Wonelli to what else you got? Not bad. Whoa, Nelly! Ah, we're bouncing back. All right. Uh, there is a TV show that has uh, been out on Netflix for about a week now called Ripley. It's trending like number one show being watched right now. Beck and I gave it a shot. It is a remake of the 1999 Matt Damon movie, the talented Mr. Ripley, which was critically acclaimed, nominated for several awards. The show is in black and white, and it's filmed like in like like a show in the 60s. And I got one episode in, I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. We took a day break from it, went back, watched about five minutes of the second episode. I said, I can't do it. Why on earth would we do black and white filmography in 2024? Like, differentiation. That's that's got to just be trying too hard, right? Like, yeah, and it's, you're trying to differentiate. It. We, we see that it's number one on Netflix. I think it's just because people are interested in seeing what it's like. There's no way people are finishing this eight to ten, I don't know how many episodes it is. Eight, ten, whatever. There's no way they're actually finishing. It's so slow, and it's all just like you know, like in the '60s. It's like sitting down, dialogue back and forth. It's it stinks. Well, thanks for bringing it to our show because it fits the theme of the last half hour show. Whoa, Nelly! <laughs> Wait, so have you seen the talented Mr. Ripley film? I have not, but I would rather watch that. Uh, it looks like it's got quite the impressive cast in the film. I've never seen the movie either. Uh, Matt Damon, Gwyneth Paltrow, Jude Law, Kate Blanchett. Philip Seymour Hoffman, R.I.P. Uh, Philip Baker Hall, R.I.P. Uh, I. The premise sounds interesting. It's about like a con man, like taking on an identity. Sure. Like fascinating, but it's just so boring. This show. They're just sitting around talking. And then he's walking upstairs, and then he's talking to somebody else. And then he goes downstairs, talking to somebody else. <laughs> like ten minute scenes, just sitting, dialogue back and forth. Isn't our show pretty much dialogue back and it's forth not, for it's three not hours? Intro, yeah, like, should we do it in black and white tomorrow? Then we could be just, oh, yeah, Ripley's Can doing we do it. That? That, like, <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to ask. Can we put I'd a like filter on so it, so it looks like an old school, old timey Andy Griffith show style radio program? Do you think program? people so, would want to watch us look like Andy Griffith? Like, well, I just Andy don't, I don't get it. Take Why it easy over there, that? Goober. Yeah, Andy Griffith's a good show. Yeah. Uh, are we going to 
still love watching movies when this all becomes, and I don't want to go down the big tech road, but when everything <laughs> but becomes to. AI'd, is it going to matter if it's not Ben Affleck, but it's Ben Affleck's AI? Like, is that going to change your enjoyment of, let's say Goodwill Hunting does a reboot with the AI versions of the people that were in that, they could bring Robin Williams back from the dead and let him do it AI related. Is that, ah. will that change your enjoyment of movies? So, like, if there mm. was a sequel to a movie I really liked, like uh, Goodwill Hunting, and yeah. we catch up with Will later in his life, and you're able to AI a n- version of Sean, who is the character that Robin Williams plays, but he's no longer with us. I'm not gonna lie. I that's a great. It was a great character that he played. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, our we miss him uh, on a number of Put levels. Put him in black and white, and it's gonna really be a hit. Yeah, that's what I hear. That's the Whoa, way to really watch Nelly. things. Now. Uh, I have. I don't. I'm really scared of AI. Frankly, I, I don't like. I, I I'm starting to get a Terminator, I Robot type feel about it that. We are down a slippery slope where we're, they're going to take over the world on us and we're not going to see it coming. So, no, I'm not on board with that in been movies or elsewhere. i tell you all for about two years, but nobody cares. Yeah, no. Oh, what are I going to do about it? <laughs> what, what, what else you got, Jesse? <laughs> My mom texted me last night. I feel like she purposely misled me on this. It's got to be better than Mr. Ripley. <laughs> So she texted me saying, do you want to be our fifth member of our team for a nine-pin tap tournament later this month? On a day, it's, it's a Sunday oh, in April. I'm, fr- I'm free. I said, yeah, absolutely. Like, warming up for my 300 challenge. Coming off my 300 in the last nine-pin tap tournament. Then she said, great. And she told me uh, that the fundraiser that it is is benefiting one of the arch-rival high school bowling teams from when I competed 15 years ago. And it's at a bowling alley where back-to-back 300 games were bowled by the team against us in what was probably one of the tougher days of my bowling career. So I don't want to do this because of where it is and the team that it's benefiting. But I already said, yes, I'm free and I'm interested. Is it IPT for me to back out knowing what the cause is? Nope. I think it's completely fine. Just lie and say something came up. (laughs) Uh, what? Just do the event. I like. Is it that harsh of a rivalry feeling for you at this point? I mean, hey Tausch, how would you like to go back to Philadelphia and be part of an event that commemorates the 20-year anniversary of Fourth and Twenty Six? I'd 26? rather go to Brazil. I'd rather go to Brazil. I don't. Th- did you really no, just liken should, this if, yeah. to the Fourth and Twenty Six? If you're, if Come if on. you feel strongly enough about something, yeah, don't do it. So do you feel like you were hoodwinked by your mom? It's kind of rich Jason telling somebody that he should do that. You should do something for charity. Uh, I feel like that's pretty rich. I didn't Uh, commit to it. I didn't commit to it. Uh, Isn't that rich? It it is rich. Uh, It's pretty rich. It's very rich. Rich, rich Eisen. Uh, you are you committed to it or not? Did you say yes? I mean, I said yes. I'm interested, and then she gave me the details of it, and I'm like, oh. Okay, then that then I'm fine with you saying no. But if you listened yes, to yesterday's help. show as I was being bullied into playing golf, what did I keep saying? Nope, nope, nope. I never agreed to it, and then backed out. And it sounds to me like you didn't agree either. You said yes, you were interested, unless you're lying now, which if you start lying, no one's ever going to know when you're telling I, the truth or when you're not. I think she knew what she was doing to me, which was misleading me. It's a pretty strong not, accusation toward your own I, mother. I think she purposely didn't tell me what it was, so I would say yes, then told me the details of who it benefited. Uh, okay. Well, you you and you and your mom can work your way through those issues later on. That's it for Woe Nelly. We'll wrap up today's show next. It's Will Dean Tausch. We're on the Bucks. This Bucks team looks too old to be able to make it to the finals. Because we're on Wisconsin Sports. They have the talent, but will they have the legs? Nobody covers the Bucks like 100.5 ESPN.
ESPN Wisconsin's Mark Tauscher here, and there is one thing I think everyone can agree on. Potholes stink. And this year's weather will make it one of the worst years yet. Well, Johnson & Sons Paving is ready to take on the challenge with a team that has over two decades of experience. When the potholes pop up in your asphalt, Johnson & Sons Paving can patch or replace the whole area. Book an appointment now at johnsonandsonspaving.com. Get that appointment booked before May 31st, and you might even see Old T on the job site for a visit. Find full contest details at ESPN Wisconsin Contest. You ra ra Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin present your Badger Minute. Here's Alex Strofe. This Badger Minute brought to you by the Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company, Madison's home for craft beer and pub food since 1994. Find the Great Dane nearest you at greatdanepub.com. Another week and another entry into the transfer portal from the Wisconsin men's basketball team. Junior guard Isaac Lindsay from Mineral Point High School entered the transfer portal on Tuesday. Lindsay began his college career in the 2020-2021 season as a redshirt freshman at UNLV before transferring to Wisconsin the next year. He appeared in 16 games this season for the Badgers. Lindsay now marks the fourth scholarship player to enter the portal for the Badgers, joining A.J. Storr, Connor Seijan, and Gus Yaldin. Get 0% interest for up to 36 months or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months. Book before April 30th at PellaWI.com. LabCorp Clinical Trials is changing to a new name. Fortria. While the name may be different, Fortria combines decades of great experience and professionalism with new opportunities for clinical trial participation. It's more than a mission and more than a new name. Fortria is dedicated to moving healthcare forward. To learn more about the future of healthcare and upcoming clinical trials, visit us at FortreaClinicalTrials.com. That's F O R T R E A ClinicalTrials.com. Experience, knowledge, and results. That's what really matters when you need help after a serious truck accident. You'll need a lawyer experienced in fighting and winning for people just like you. Gruber Law Offices has the resources, strong track record of success, and a team of experienced lawyers to take care of your needs. We've successfully helped people injured in big truck accidents for more than 35 years. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Step into nostalgia with the Miller High Life Dive Bar of the Week. Listen to Rutledge and Hamilton every Thursday, and we will let you know where you can enjoy $2 Miller High Lifes. To celebrate our love for dive bars, me and Matt are going to tell you about some of our favorites, featuring one extra special dive bar that will have $2 High Lifes on special for the week. Taste the champagne of beer in its natural environment. A delightfully different dive bar in Wisconsin, like Caribou Tavern, Snack Bar and Grill, The Pub at Pleasant Springs, and The Damn Bar and Grill. It's official. 2023 was the biggest jackpot year on record at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Check out these totals. We had over 57,000 jackpots and more than $134 million in winnings. This shatters our previous record year, and we have no intention of stopping here. And with our 95% average payout, we continue to be the official home of the big win right here in Madison. Let's keep it going in 2024 with even more jackpots at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Beautify your entertainment space with Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Hi, this is Gina Della from Pella. Turn your ordinary space into something extraordinary with brand new Pella Windows. Plus, getting the perfect windows and doors for your home has never been easier. Right now, get 0% interest for up to 36 months or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months if you book before April 30th. Take ownership of your living space and make it a place worth living with Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Like, share, and follow ESPN Madison everywhere. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for more great content from ESPN Madison. This is 100.5 ESPN and Wisconsin On Demand. I wish we had more time left in the show because I just read the plot to the talented Mr. Ripley and apparently he kills off everyone in it. Spoiler whoa, alert! Hey, whoa! Dude, the movie came out in like nineteen ninety-nine. You're not gonna watch it anyways. But yeah, the show. You're people are people it. are learning. So about we got the first that. Time. We've got a bunch of people pointing out that Peacock only costs five bucks a month. To which I say, yes, they all do. And then you get—that's the whole point of this. And then Jesse has an AI question before we leave. Yeah, uh, Brent in West Salem texts in. Would you watch a sports broadcast if it's AI? 
Howard Cosell and John Madden calling it together. Yeah. Yep. Would you watch it if the game wasn't actually being played and it was AI f- characters playing the game instead of real football players, for example? No, I'd want robots. Robot <laughs> football players with John Madden and Howard Cosell as AI uh, announcers. That'd be fun. Uh, it's been a journey today. And we don't have any. Jesse's got nothing else because we're done. What else we'll you got? Do, we'll do it again tomorrow. <laughs> what a fun day. Have a great day. Take care. Be good. Miss any of today's episode of Wildey and Tausch? Presented by Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Commercial free full show podcasts are available free.